fine. I never breakfast then. I'm not hungover. I just had a late night. Anyway, I thought you weren't meant to make assumptions in your job. Fair point. Where were you then? Now an interrogation. Hmm. Sorry. Cup of tea? Hmm, better. You were so... I hate police cars. It only means bad news, doesn't it? If I thought that, I'd never get through the car park at work. Oh, interesting. Uh, no, it's just my mum. I'll text her later. Can I get a cab into town, please? Blimey, when I was your age, we walked everywhere. You did? Oh, scratched around for a bus fare. Didn't see the inside of a cab till I was 27. Oh, you're making up for it now, eh? Yeah. Uh, base into town, please. They've closed the B495, love. You might have to wait a little bit. Fine. It's not on the system. Past Swanhaven Industrial Estate up to Legacy Reach Mill. The police have sealed it off. It's where Luke, you know. They said it might be on later. Is that where it happened? Yeah. Mm, I just saw Alia in the cafe. She's in bits. Don't bear thinking about, does it? That poor lad out there on his own, scared and dying. You know, some people are worse than animals. Does anybody want this job? I'm watching the worst film ever. She's inherited a pumpkin farm and this guy wants to knock it down and build a massive pet shop. Well, don't miss it for me. I'm not stopping. Uh, paused. <laughs> Retail therapy? Uh, yeah, well, I went out to get some fresh air and got a bit distracted. Nice. Day for me. What? Oh, yeah, what a div. Um, here. Ah, oh, thanks, they're lovely. I'll go and get a vase. You saved me a text, actually. I was gonna see if you wanted to come round for some tea. We've got the place to ourselves. Tonight? H here? Yes, here, Craig. Unless you're busy. No, yeah, please. Um, I wasn't expecting you this early. Well, we said half seven. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. It's my fault. I've only just got back. You look nice. Do I? Yeah, you always do. Been anywhere special? Uh, not really. No, just experimenting. Are you okay down here for a bit? Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, just put some music on. I'm gonna go up and get changed. That's better. Right, what do you fancy doing? Uh, um, I just want to crash in front of the telly, if that's all right. I'm done in. Fine. Uh, we could ring out for a pizza in a bit, maybe. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, and then I think I want an early night. We've got the wedding tomorrow. We can go mad then if you want. Right, let's see what's on. Oh, this is usually quite funny. <laughs> this guy kills me. <laughs> you hear about the wedding? Uh, yeah, Craig's texting me like 9,000 times. Sounds an insanity. You should have gone. Why didn't you go? Uh, I was tired. And anyway, I'm meeting a mate in the cafe now. Who? Sam. Why? What's it to you? It's just friendly conversation. Uh, no, it's just nosy conversation. What's the matter? Some bloke outside trying to get a right good look at us. Oh, my God, he's coming in. Craig, what? That's your boyfriend. Were you just lurking outside? I, I, I was tying my shoelace. Right. Um, Craig, Sam, Sam, Craig. Hello? Hi. Why did you um, say you were at work? Um, I met Sam online at a victim support forum. Um, we had arranged to meet up today and I just didn't want to say anything to you. Oh, I know. I'd, I'd have completely understood. I would have done the same thing. It's like a betrayal of trust. Mm, yeah, exactly. Mm. Like AA. Breakdown recovery service. <sighs> Our public's anonymous. It, it was a joke. Oh. He's funny. <laughs> Do you want something to eat? Oh, I had loads at the buffet. What, they still serve the food? Yeah, did you hear happened? Yeah, I feel well sorry for Sinead. He needs his head testing. I mean, look at him and then look at her. 
He is this pasty redhead and she's this gorgeous blonde. Got it? Right, well, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it then. Um, give me a ring if you want to do something later. I'm sorry about before. I put you in a really difficult position. It seems nice, though. It's not exactly who I'd put you with, but nice. Yeah, he is. He's really nice. What time were you on till last night? Um, I got in at three and I'm on again at nine. Yeah, me too. Craig's just a bit full on, that's all. Well, I can see why he's insecure, though. I mean, no offence, but you are completely out of his league. I don't know what I'm going to say to him tonight. I'm running out of excuses. Well, you just tell him the truth. Well, because he'd flip. Everyone would, especially my mum. Right, thanks, Roy. See you later. Thank you, Bethany. Goodbye. Bye. I told my mum. She was pretty cool about it. Didn't tell my dad, though. Yeah. Well, I'm not telling anyone. Not for a while, anyway. Hi. Sorry I'm late. What time is it? On your phone. It's, it's more accurate. Uh, 11.02. How's Sinead? Sad. Confused. I don't know. Why did you lie to me? Oh, Craig, I'm so sorry. You dropped everything for me when I needed you. I wanted to do the same for Sal. You said you met her through a victim support forum. Well, what happened to her? No, that, that's personal. She told me in confidence. But is she safe now? Because that's the main thing. Yeah. She's safe. You know I can't say any more than that. You seem really wired. What's up? It's just today got off to a really bad start and I can't seem to shake it off. OK, well, uh, I'll get you some breakfast. Maybe that'll perk you up. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Mm, fair to middling. You know, sometimes you remind me of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Don't we daft? Mm. I think it's the big Bambi eyes. <laughs> oh, I used to idolise her. Read every biography going. No one could believe it when she married Arthur Miller. You know the bloke that wrote plays. It wasn't really her type. She used to go for men that were glamorous, bad boys. I was the same till I met my Kirky. I mean, I knew that life with him might not be as exciting, but at least it never hurt me. Is that what Craig is to you? The safe option? No, of course not. I'm really fond of him. He's gentle, kind. I know you've been through a lot, and I'm glad he's there for you, but try and remember he's young too, inexperienced. What are you saying? To know, just take it easy. Don't ask too much of him, because I'm not sure he can cope. <sighs> I'd never do anything to hurt him, ever. I... Oh, hi, Mum. Um, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. See you. What did Beth want? Like she was bending your ear? Uh, nothing, really. She was just banging on about Marilyn Monroe. Who's that? Look. Oh, I saw Gary this morning. He said that he's been texting me, which is weird because I haven't received any messages. Yeah, that's because I blocked his number. Not gonna lie. You would go ape if I did that to you. Yeah, well, we all know that he's a waste of space and I'm not giving him the chance to talk you around. I'm a grown woman. I can make my own decisions. Yeah, she can. Except when it comes to men. I received a call saying you require assistance. Paul says uh, to get Anzi with Sam, one of the girls, wrote that. He'd had a few, decided he'd pay for much more than a dance. So, well, is this bloke's done it before? Well, why don't you bar him? Keep him out. Not my decision. CCTV? Happened in a private corner. He had his back to the camera. Where's Sam now? And the punter? Like this. OK. Look, I'll go talk to Sam. You ask around if you find any witnesses. I'll try to take you into the staff room. Won't just might think you're a novice yet. Sam. <laughs> Hi, I'm Special Constable Tinker. We're making inquiries into the incident with Sam. You'd happen to see anything.
Right, well, thank you very much. This place is rank. I can't see why any girl would want to work here. You think this is bad? You should see some of the dives I've been calling after. So, Sam couldn't tell me much. Apparently, the bloke was average looking. She didn't get his name. How'd you get on? Seems nobody saw anything. Hiya. I'm the manager, Lulu. PC Jess Haywood, and this is Special Constable Tinker. Did any of your staff witness the alleged attack? I last around, but nobody saw anything. Well, we've got a new girl, Madison, and apparently she was working nearby when it happened. Right, well, can we speak to her, please? Um. Well, I can't see her. She must have gone on a break. Let me try and find her for you, yeah? You never said your boyfriend was a cop. It's not the kind of thing that you tell everyone, especially not in a place like this. I don't blame you for hiding. If he saw you in this place, he'd do his not. I was going to make a room for it. Well, you do right. No, I mean, I was going to, but I'd rather stay. Stand up for you. I don't expect you to. Not if it means he's going to dump you. That creep had his filthy hands all over you. Why should we let him get away with it? I know, but... Men like that think they can treat us like muck. We need to stick together. Make a stand. Really sorry. She will be here as soon as possible. OK. Madison, you took your time. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I had to get changed. Well, I'll leave you to it, yeah? Give me a shout if you need anything. Oh, Sam, sweetheart, get yourself off home, yeah? Right. Well, don't worry, you still get paid. Plus tips. Don't push it. Don't be too hard on her, yeah? Is someone making you do this? No! Well, why would you be doing it unless someone was forcing you to? It makes no sense. Hang on a minute. This is against procedure. You two clearly know each other. The manager just called you Madison. I take it that's not your real name. It's Bethany Platt. Your girlfriend? Craig, you should have declared it. You know the rules. No, don't blame him. It's not his fault. You can knock off for the day. We'll, we'll talk about this tomorrow. All right, Miss Platt, if we can take your statement. He's not going to get in trouble, is he? If we can make a start, please. You know, everyone's out except us, so... Look, I know you've been forced to work in that place. That place? <laughs> Listen to yourself. And? I'm not leaving until you tell me who it is that's making you do it. Nobody is forcing me to do it. I do have a mind of my own, you know. You're not alone, Bethany. I can help you make it stop. <laughs> Nathan's got to, hasn't he? I haven't been anywhere near Nathan or any of his mates. I know you're scared, but you've beaten this once and you can do it again. If you don't want to talk to me, talk to Jess. Apart from anything else, you're underage. It's against the law. After everything those men did to you, this would be the last thing you'd be doing if you had a choice. Parading around in your underwear, letting men treat you like a piece of meat. You're not listening! Why aren't you listening to me? You're wrong, OK? You hate what I'm doing, so obviously this is the only way you can make sense of it all. But I want you to hear what I'm saying. This is my choice. I want to do it. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed. In fact, I enjoy it. It please. I shouldn't have to justify myself to you or anyone else. Well, if you're so cool with it, why not invite your whole family to the club? Let them see you in action. Make your mum proud. In fact, let's hire a bus and take the whole street. I haven't told my mum because I knew that she'd kick off, try and talk me out of it. But this is my decision, and I'm happy with it. If you don't get that, then that's your problem. OK. So explain. Make me understand. I shouldn't have to. Bethany, you have been abused by men, and now you're letting it happen all over again. No, you're wrong. Last time Nathan called the shots, I wasn't allowed to say no back then, but I am now. I'm in control. Oh, yeah. Because Sam looks really in control of that bus lip. Can't you see? Those men get exactly what they want from you. No, they don't. They look at me, they want me, they drool all over me as much as they want, but I've got the power. I smile sweetly, I take the money, but inside I'm laughing at them. This isn't you. Maybe you liked me better when I was the innocent victim. How could you say that? I've never seen you as a victim. You've always been dead brave. I just want to put the past behind me. All that I'm asking is that you support me and accept my choices. You know I can't do that. 
Call your boss and quit your job now before anything bad happens. You're just trying to control me like Nathan did. Don't you ever compare me to him. I am nothing like him. Bethany, I'm worried about you. This has got to stop now. If you want us to stay together, the job's got to go. I love my job. If you can't accept that, you know what to do. All right. Uh, yeah. Good, thanks. You? Good, yeah. Nice one. All right, well, see you later then. See ya. What's up with you two? Oh, back off, Mother. Oh, have you had a fallout or something? Well, why does everybody think it's OK to poke their noses in my business? All oh, right, I'm only asking. You were just saying, you know, things were a bit weird with Beth yesterday. Yeah, and I don't need you being weird as well, OK? There you go, Tim. Um, um, actually, I think I've changed my mind. I'm not sure I like the clientele in here. Give it a rest, Bethany. She's lucky I'm even talking to her. Turns out Bethany's blocked your number in my phone and that's why I'm not getting you messages. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I need to take this. Hmm. Sorry. Bet you do. Size Bill. What are you doing here? We need to talk. I saw you this morning. Why do you need to come and talk here? Because your mum was there and it wasn't right. Can we go somewhere private? Cost extra that. It'll only take a few minutes. I'm working. I had to lie to my boss for you yesterday. I told her you'd quit. The least you can do is you can hear me out. Fine. I'll say it here then. I thought about what you said last night, and you're right. I can't do this. Fine. If you've made up your mind. I have. Okay. Well, that's it then. We're finished. I think that means you can go. I'll go when I'm ready. What are you still doing here? Are you trying to get me fired? I can think of worse things. Craig, you know that I'm not doing this to hurt you, don't you? All I know is that you being here is a massive mistake. In this place, it is not safe. No, it's not like that. They look after us. And besides, I need this. For what? For money. You can always get another job. No, I don't understand. Yeah, you're right. I don't. And you have no idea how much I do to try and look after you. To try and keep you safe. Keep me safe? What are you talking about? Nothing. Just forget it, all right? Madison, customer wants to see you. I've got to go. Yeah, because we can't leave a customer waiting, can we? Just promise me you won't tell anyone. I don't want my mum to find out. Not yet, anyway. Don't worry. Keep your secrets safe. What is going on? You can't keep coming here like this. I have not come to row. It's just I saw your mum earlier and she was asking if you were all right. Did you tell her? About you working here? No. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Thanks. So what are you doing back here, then? I just wanted to find out what time you finished, so I can make sure you got home safe. So you're not here to try and make me change my mind about what I'm doing? Would it make any difference if I was? No. Well, I guess I'll just have to deal with it then, won't I? Because even though I hate the thought of you working in this place, I hate the thought of me not being your boyfriend even more. Me too. <laughs> Three lads on table four. Don't make eye contact. Trouble? Nah, just ugly. Put me off my dinner. Huh. What's it gob on you? The boyfriend trouble still. No, Craig's fine. It's my mum. She was seeing this bloke that she was mad about. 
and then he cheats on her. Standard. Got this other woman pregnant. Ouch. And now she wants to get back with him. Take it we're against this. He's just gonna do it again. He's like all blows. Lie after lie after lie. First reaction's just to say, let her figure it out for herself. I mean, she will if she's smart. Maybe I need to help her along with that. Oh. Hi. What's happened? Gary Windass is what's happening. It's nothing. Nothing? Your mother's soft-headed enough to give him another chance. Walks into the Rovers and there's some tart all over him. Oh, wish I never said anything now. What, are you kidding? In the place that you actually work? Did he not think that Eva or Toya would notice? That's exactly what I said. I mean, obviously, it doesn't give a hoot. Right, let's just change the subject now, shall we? Well, I hate to say I told you so. OK, how was uh, work? Oh, yeah, your mum said you got some shifts in a restaurant in town. Where is it? Uh, Northern Quarter. You wouldn't know it. Anyway, I'm going to go up and get a shower, cos Craig's coming round. Um, Mum, he's a cheat. You're better off without him. Man, I'm starving. I can't believe I nearly left this lot out overnight. Who was that? <sighs> Gary. Probably drunk. Mum, you can't have anything to do with him anymore. All over girls he doesn't even know. Well, how do you know he doesn't know her? Just presuming from what you said. You know what? I don't even care who she is. It's... It's done. I'm just... I'm finished. <laughs> I'm going for a bath, so I don't want any of your bang-bang music down here, thank you. I want a nice, long relax. This woman that was all over Gary, do you know more about her than you're letting on? What is this? Your police training kicking in? Your amazing powers of deduction? I just want a straight answer. Oh. Sam from work. I sent her to the Rovers with a photo of Gary and she nailed it. He ever comes near my mum again, and I swear, he'll be sorry he ever laid eyes on her. My desserts are Yeah. Gary Windass. I'm his partner. You left, when? OK. All right, thanks very much. Bye. I think me and you need to have a little talk, don't you? Not really, no. All right, so you think you can just get in a strop? I'm going to give you my blessing. My daughter, the lap dancer. I don't really need your blessing. Can you just for one second think what it is you're doing? Mm, says the one whose boyfriend's got a baby on the way, but hey, no problem. He's not my boyfriend. What, so you're not thinking of getting back with him then? It's none of your business. <laughs> Unbelievable. I might as well go and start packing now. You, you're not going anywhere and you're certainly not going back to that club. Actually, I am. And you're just going to have to deal with it because you know what? I like it. Yeah, I like being a lap dancer. You're a what? Mum, please. So when did this happen? Where? Oh, please don't tell me you take all your clothes. Mum, please, can you just let me deal with it? No, it's fine. I've heard enough. No, but flaunting yourself like that. Not listening. Oh, you flipping well are listening. Do you think it's all right, do you? To get a perfectly decent man beat to within an inch of his life? Decent? Do you know what? People make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I'm looking at you. You're my daughter and I feel like you're a complete stranger. So you and Gary, is it back on? No, or... I don't know. I, d I don't know what to do about him or her. Yeah, well, forget about him. Your daughter's far more important. Just put this in the back. You just listen. No one touches me, no one hassles me. I'd be in more danger on a night out in town. And anyway, most of the men are married or about to be, so why would they cause trouble in a lap dancing club? So dancing half naked for men is OK? Mum, is you're not helping. No, I'm not the one you should be shouting I'm at. I'm not shouting at you. I'm just saying, unless you've got something constructive to say. A constructive? How am I meant to be constructive about my granddaughter exposing herself to anyone with the money to pay for it? Well, I'm going with you like it. No, oh. you're not. You need to back off. Oh, well, I did that once before. Do you remember? Because you didn't want me upsetting Nathan. Yeah, look where that got you. A timid soul, Mrs Adams, so I was quite surprised. Well, you want to do something different for your 80th, don't you? Well, it could be a daughter put her up to this. I mean, a woman of her age going into space. It's not actually space, ma'am. They just recreate the experience. I saw it on telly. Gail, she gets car sick on a trip to Morecambe. What's she going to be like going into zero gravity? Huh? 
Oh, sweetheart. Oh, I am sorry. Listen, you're worried about Beth and Mimi banging on about zero gravity. No, it's not Bethany. You know it's Anna's sentencing today. Oh, my goodness, of course it is. Oh, I still can't believe she did it. I was thinking maybe I should go and support Gary. What do you think? Oh, yeah. You could sit next to his pregnant girlfriend and hold hands. Oh, Bethany, for goodness sake, have a heart. It's her heart I'm thinking of, thank you very much, even if she's too blind to see it. Right, I'm going into town. Oh, right, so you're not going to uh, your club today, then? You don't have to say it like that. It's actually very nice. And no, day off. But, Mum, I know I can't stop you from seeing Gary, but I mean it. If you start up with him again, well, I just can't be here to watch. Sorry. She might have a point about Gary. No, no, no. She can't give in to blackmail, especially from her own daughter. I mean, that is not an example to set. To be honest, I'm more worried about this so-called very nice lap dancing thing. I can't force her to stop working there. Fat old men ogling her, drooling into their beer. Not slept for worrying. Oh, I don't know what to do. But I do. And we can't let this happen, right? Now, Bethany isn't working there today, so I suggest the three of us go down to this club and see what we're dealing with. Hmm? Thank you. What kind of name is Tassels? Do you know, I am sure this place used to be an Italian restaurant years back. What was it called? 20 quid to get in. It's scandalous. It's on the tip of my tongue. Now, what was that uh, Brotherhood of Man song? Save all your kisses for me. Oh, Gail. What kind of Italian restaurant's going to be called that? <laughs> People come in here at this time of day. It's only just two and twelve. Oh, yeah. Well, it is lunchtime. Come on. I suppose to some people it beats having a yogurt at your desk. Oh, ladies. Hello. I can get you an ice table. We're not busy. Oh, thank you. I don't suppose you get many groups like us in here. You'd be surprised. I'm Lulu. Oh. Do you think we could uh, have a wine menu, Lulu? Love? I'll send a girl over. Oh no, no. We don't want a lap dance for the drinks. Sorry. Do you not think it's a bit early for a drink? Oh, believe me, sweetheart, I think we're going to need it. Oh, thanks for coming in. Belle's got a dicky top. Oh, it's fine. I was in town anyway. Ali looks like she's about to drop. <laughs> I was just chatting with a girl in the bar and she's studying law at uni. Oh, that the name of this place when it was an Italian restaurant. It's been bugging me, it really has. Ma'am, we're here to see if this is a suitable place for Bethany to work in. Not another chapter in the many faces of Aldrich. You know, it was the first Italian restaurant I'd ever been in. I felt so sophisticated. <laughs> oh, come on, let's have another bottle for old times' sake. I'm, I'm really actually quite enjoying it. No, I know where I am. Oh, I've seen the prices. Sweetheart, it's OK. It's my treat. Some treat. Oh, it's not really that bad, is it? Oh, please, we have no idea how the girls are treated. Everything OK? Those heels look like they're killing her. Oh, Ali's a bro. In fact, she has trouble wearing flats. And she's been on a long time. We had a girl go off sick. They get regular breaks, you know. But now I'm wondering why you're so interested. You're definitely not the police, because my radar's pretty good. Well, um, the thing is, uh, Lulu, my daughter's writing a book, and um, this is research. About dancers? Yeah. What's it called? Dancer. Yes, but with an exclamation, you know, more punchy. I mean, dancer. <laughs> Lulu, what's this? For an Italian restaurant here. Figaro's. Figaro's. Oh, thank you. I knew it was a Brotherhood of Man song. I've been saying Angelo's. <laughs> I actually think I can almost say for certain that on this very spot, I tasted my first courgette. Could we have another bottle of Pinot, please? I'll send it over. was writing a book for. Well, I had to think fast. And what was that about a courgette? Oh, shh. 
Come on, we've seen the place now. What are we doing here? I've left my little boy with Mary while I'm drinking in the lap dancing club. We've seen the place. It's not too bad, is it? And it's very clean. Yeah. And Lily seems all right, actually. Lulu, can we just go, please? No, we've ordered another bottle now, don't we? Anyway, come on. We'll just have one more, right? Because we're here now. I used to be able to get my leg up like that. Almost vertical, actually. <laughs> Did you want to? It was a party trick. She tried it at my 12th birthday after too much wine and fell into the cake. <laughs> so, you know which? Do you think we do bar snacks? Because I'm starving. Well, I wouldn't take any peanuts in a bowl from a place like this. Why not? Can you imagine where people have something? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Take much more of this. Well, we can't go out without a seeing us. No, I'm with Sarah. It's too much. Mum? Gran? Hey, darling. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we just thought we'd come and have a look. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure it was. It was my idea, Bethany, love, so don't go blaming your mother. Well, how could you? Because I'm worried, darling. Of course I am. These are yours, I take it. My mum, my gran and my great-gran. Oh, nothing like a family day, yeah. We just wanted to come and check the place out, that's all. I don't care if you came to admire the wallpaper, love. Madison, my office now. Madison? Do you know Claudia had an Alsatian called Madison? <laughs> right, you ladies should leave now. You're bad for business. You can pay for your wine on your way out. Madison, now, please. If you have ruined this for me, I will never forgive you. She said she needed to speak to you. And where are the other two Charlie's angels waiting in the car? She's fine. Look, I'm so sorry about before. Oh, can, I, can I get you a drink? I don't eat that much these days. You've got five minutes. I need to talk to you about my daughter. But I hope she has sex. Oh, I can stay here now. You've ruined my life. Oh, look, you can't be beholden to the whims of your children. Listen, sweetheart, when you're a parent, you have to put your foot down, right? I cannot believe you. What? You can't blame me for wanting to see where you were. Listen, sweetheart, if you worked in a pet shop, you wouldn't mind if she came down to look at the hamsters. How many glasses of wine have you had? Well, I hope you're happy, because you've got me sacked from the only decent club in town. Well, that Lulu should be pleased. She's at least a hundred quid up after our little excursion. A hundred and fifty, thank you, with a tip. First of all, it was Craig showing up every five minutes, then Gary coming down and kicking off, and then you lot showing up today and causing a massive scene. Well, to be honest, if you put it like that, I'm surprised she kept you this long. Yeah, maybe it's for the best, eh? Doesn't mean I'm going to stop dancing. In fact, I'm going to find somewhere else, and guess what? You're not even going to know where it is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you again. Ooh. Do you know, for a slip of a girl, she can't half make a racket. Right, I'm going out. No, not yet, you're not. Sit down. Mum, I'm Sit not... Sit down! Look, I am sorry that I got you in trouble today, but I'm not going to apologise for caring about my daughter. You got me sacked. Yes, and now I've got you your job back. What do you want to do a daft thing like that for? Because, Mum, I'd rather know where she is. And I think that you're old enough to make your own decisions. Lulu seems all right. She seems like she really cares about the girls. Well, I told you that. Mm. Well, she says she'll give you your job back on one condition. What? I don't bring these two back again. Is this all because you want to get back with Gary? You're trying to bust me up. I've had enough of all this now. I'm going home. Do you know how difficult it must have been for your mum to go to that place again? Well, I didn't ask her to. No, well, you don't have to. Because she put you first lady, always. I wish you'd just remember that sometimes. Madison. Look, I'm sorry for the way that I feel about Gary. No, it's fine. It's over. He's, um... Well, he's moved on and I've moved on, so... Hallelujah. Can you do me a favour? 
Can you give my next fella a chance, please? Deal. If even Gary would sink that low. Rubbing Mum's nose in it whilst he moves his new girlfriend in across the street. There you go. Oh, you know how to spoil me, don't you? Well, I can't stop from working in that club, but I can make sure you don't go hungry. Did I ever do it? Um, no, I prefer it like that. You're eating all the bread, greedy man. Craig made me some soldiers to go in my egg. Well, thanks for mine, Craig. Looks like I'll have to have the crust, as per. Shouldn't you be at the salon by now? Oh, wow. It's finally happened. You've turned into Audrey. Oh, shut your face. Why is, like, the kettle and the toaster been unplugged? Right, I'm gonna be late. What about your egg? Oh, well, I can't really eat the white bits. They make me gag. Do they do, to be fair. Oh, I'll have that, then. I thought you weren't in work today, anyway. I'm picking up my wages. You can let yourself out, can't you? Oh, I like it that you two have worked it out. Seriously, why is everything unplugged? Has there been a power cut or something? Right, well, I best get going. See you, Craig. Ciao, Craig. I suppose you think they're going to make up for everything, dear. I said sorry. Sorry doesn't get me my job back. Sorry doesn't make up for all the money that I'm going to be losing out on. It's not all about you, you know. Twice I have risked my job for you. Twice. You're not a superhero. It's not your job to protect me. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. Well, I'm not sure about that. Every time you interfere with my life, everything goes wrong. So just leave me alone. Have you and Craig made up yet? That's a shame. You don't want to be on your own on Valentine's Day. You're on your own. All right, thanks for reminding me. Don't give over. You're gorgeous. You could have anyone you wanted. Shame the one I wanted didn't want me enough. Uh, just a uh, coffee to go. Yeah. Um, have some self-respect, Mum. You're like David the dog when he sees a bone. There we go. There we go. Salad sandwich, please. Yes. Hang on, haven't you had a thing with Aiden? He's quite fit, you know. One disastrous day and I've wiped it from my memory. Norris said he saw you come in here. I need a word. Yeah, yeah, go on. Must be nice having a sister that works here. Well, she doesn't give me freebies, if that's what you mean. No, but I bet she can squeeze you in on a night like tonight, you know, Valentine's. And what am I going to do? Book a table, then sit on my own nice and big saddle. Ask my mum. Look, you've both been through a rough time recently. You could cheer each other up. No, no, no. I don't think so, Bethany. I mean, look, your mum is lovely, but I'm not in the right place for a relationship. Well, all right, I'm not asking you to marry her. You just take her out, have a laugh. And you might even enjoy yourself. You best watch yourself. You'll wear that bell out. I thought I'd be in there. I saw him in the cafe earlier, and he didn't look fit for anywhere apart from home. Don't know when you let me do your makeup. Well, you'll be able to do it every day now, won't you? Now you're not working at the lap dancing bar. Plenty of time on your hands. Well, I will be your guinea pig anytime you like. Well, I'm not being funny, but I haven't seen a guinea pig wearing that much makeup. Oof, you're on fire tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes, and let's hope you are. So go on, upstairs, get changed, get yourself all glammed up. What, for a night in front of the TV with a bag of cheese and onion crisps? You are going on a date. Who is Brian Packham? Aiden, no. Yeah. No. No. No, no, I can't. It's too embarrassing. Oh, my gosh, wear the wipes. I'm taking his makeup off. Uh, what? No, you can't do that to him. That's cruel. <sighs> right, OK, I'll go on the date. If you patch things up with Craig. Well, no, that's blackmail. Why would you even do that to me? Because he's lovely and he's good for you. <gasps> me and Susie Birchall went to see a psychic in Blackpool once. Four foot nothing he was. Face like a badly made meat and tatey pie. <laughs> Bit of a looker then. <laughs> he told me there and then that my love life would be complicated. I think that's one way of putting it. <laughs> if you could bring just one of them back for one night, who would you pick? Brian? Well, he was definitely the best looking out of all of them. Lovely hair. Perfect teeth. Very manly. 
trouble is, if I brought him back, his mother Ivy would probably come with him. Yeah, like Princess Diana. Three people in the marriage. Mm. Anyway, never mind about me. What about you and Craig? <sighs> Not great. You know, if I could turn the clock back, I'd do things differently. I'd be clear about what I wanted. I'd be honest. Compromise is the key to a good relationship. You have to try to meet in the middle. And if you can't, you might as well go your separate ways. All right, the piece is spoken for, but you can have some coleslaw if you like. Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. Hi, um, I just wanted to say I hate it when we fall out. Me too, but I can't keep apologising forever. No, I know. Do you want to go out for a bit? I'll get my coat. Uh, no, it's okay, you're having your tea. Um, but we can meet up tomorrow if you want. We could go for lunch at the bistro and talk properly then. Yeah, good idea. All this arguing is making us dead miserable. And although I hate myself for saying it, I think it's make or break time for us. See you tomorrow. See ya. Bye. So, how did it go? Not great. Why? Because he stood me up. What? Yeah. Just didn't show up. No message, no nothing. Oh, that's weird. Do you think he's OK? Well, I wasn't sure, but then I went to the flat and saw him through the window. <gasps> he was there? Yep. I even rang the bell and he didn't answer. Oh, darling. No, do you know what? It's fine. I mean, it's quite embarrassing, sitting in a restaurant by yourself or... Standing outside and waiting for him like a complete saddo. Oh, you should have called me. What, I said what? He's clearly made up his mind that he can't be bothered dealing with me anymore, and that's fine. Hey, you don't know that for sure. No, I don't, because he won't even talk to me. I've screwed him up that much. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Oh, darling, come here. Oh. Come here. Bethany. I'm so sorry. Come on, you. Let's get you upstairs. Let's get that stinky bottom changed because Mummy's got to go to work soon. Thanks, Mum. I don't know what to say. Why did you stand me up? I didn't. I got a call from work. I had to go in. And my phone's broke. Craig, I know you. I know when you're lying. I'm not. I saw you in the flat, OK? So just tell me the truth. Can. Why not? Because... Because you wouldn't even want to go out with me. You wouldn't even go near me. What are you talking about? Just tell me! I can't. What does that mean? What can't you tell me? Right, so you're allowed to know all of this horrible stuff that I've had to go through, but I can't... It's me, isn't it? You thought you could be cool with it all, but you can't cope. Going out with somebody this messed up. No. No, I'm the one that's messed up. Well, then talk to me. Why didn't you come? Right, well, how do you expect us to be together? How do you expect us to even be friends? I, I don't know. But Bethany, I'm sorry, but me like this is it's no good to you. Yeah, I don't blame you. I get it. I get all of this. <laughs> it's stressing you out, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, then maybe we have to think about whether it's worth it, all of the stress. I don't know. Well, I do. And it's not. We don't work together. And we just have to face that. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. Marks for the granary bread, but you do lose points for the eclair. Oh, uh, well. I was training. Why, are you still planning on knocking your teeth out? Oh! Fighting ban. Say how you're finding Josh. <sighs> in a session yeah. yesterday. <gasps> Don't have to put me through it. Talk about driven. Mm, tell me about it. Even finds time for his new bezzy, David. <laughs> I might as well be single. Mm, trust me, that's no fun. 
I can't see how you struggle to meet a man. Oh, no, meeting him's not the problem. It's just the not ending in disaster bit that I struggle with. <laughs> well, we'll have to do something about that, won't we? Mm -hmm. See ya. See ya. I reckon you're looking on fleek if it weren't for that bit of lettuce between your teeth. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you. I know what, Mum is right. You're never going to grow up. How very dare you. I hold down a very high-end job working at the salon mm -hmm. with my gran, who is not all onkies. Mm -hmm. mm. That reminds me, actually. A message from said gran. She wants you to come back to the salon to resume your apprenticeship role. Oh, cool. So have you knocked me all dancing on the head, then? Oh, uh, well, the hours are rubbish, so... I think you're a day late, mate. I know. I'm so sorry. Right, I'll be off skis then. I'll tell Gran the good news. What's the good news? I'm going back to the salon. So you've given up the dancing for good? So, have you had any news about the factory reopening? Oh, they're still really busy with all the repairs. In fact, I had to move Luke's shrine today. It's getting in the way of the builders. Oh, I'm sorry. We were all really upset about what happened. And I don't know if you know this, but uh, Luke really helped me when I was having trouble at school. He was so kind. Yeah, he was. Uh, Bethany. Oh, excuse me, ladies. Uh, can I have a quick road, love, please? Everything OK? Did you phone the suppliers, like I asked you to this morning, because I've had one of them on the phone saying nobody's been in touch? Uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Oh, would you sort it out, please? I've got to go out for a while. Yeah, OK, I'll do it now. Make sure you do, lady. Oh. Do you know what we need? A night out. Why don't you and me go into town? Do a club, maybe? Thanks, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. Ooh, watch your nails. Oh, stuff my nails. Oh. You know what, maybe you're right, maybe I do need a bit of company. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> well, I've got the flat to myself tonight. Why don't you come over, I'll cook her something. Oh, that'd be nice. And bring Z. Oh, I, I think he might be busy. Well, him and Luke were friends. He might fancy a bit of company himself. I'll see what I can do. Mm. All right. Um, uh, yeah, I've just had this really weird phone call from Liam's Holiday Club. Is he okay? I dropped him off this morning. Well, they said he was doing this really strange thing with the sockets. He keeps pulling the plug out and turning them off. He wants someone to go and collect him, but Maria's not answering her phone. Right, well, I'll go and get him and I'll leave her a message. <laughs> Bethany, customer. Coming. <sighs> yes, please. My goodness, aren't you a Bobby Dazzler? Excuse me? Oh, uh, I, I meant no offence. Well, would you say that if a bloke was stood here? Ah, well, he, he might do if I was stood here, uh, because I'm very pretty. I've just established that. Uh, can I help you, sir? Uh, no, it's, it's all right, love. I'm, I've changed my mind. Oh, but... Bethany, what on earth do you think you're doing? He was a sexist. Oh, don't be ridiculous. He was a pensioner who was trying to be kind. You know, apart from chasing all my customers away, the only thing you've done today is a lap dancer's blow dry for free. Well, at least I've been here. Unlike you and Maria. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go and get some dinner, seeing as though it's nearly three o'clock. She's saying that's the problem with us pretty ones, Mrs. Hurst. We always get into the most trouble. Oh, shut up, David. They're only trying to help. Yeah, well, I'm not some pathetic charity case. Besides, the only thing they care about is keeping an eye on me. I feel like I'm being watched 24 7. Look, I know it might seem like that, but. What are you even still doing here? You're not my boyfriend, remember? We yeah, split up. No. You're just as bad as the rest of them. Leave me alone. Hey, babes. Oh, yeah, I'm going out of my mind. I'm practically under house arrest. Um, listen, about this club, do you reckon you can get me an audition? Hey, Bethany. I don't believe this. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about it. Well, there's no need, is there? This says it all. Look, why don't we just sit down and talk about this properly, eh? I'm going out. She'll come round. Will she? Why aren't you dressed? You're going to be late for work. I'm not going. What? 
what? Mum said you had a set to. No, I didn't have a set to. I resigned. Did you know about this? Uh, we didn't want to worry you. She says it's OK if you've changed your mind. I haven't. I got a better job offer. Doing what? Back at the lap dancing club. Oh, you can't. Well, why not? I get paid three times as much. Darling, you've moved on. Don't go back to doing something that's not good for you. What, like you going back to Gary? After everything that's happened, you need a job that doesn't involve taking your clothes off and men leering at you. No, you're wrong. I'm in control and I feel a million times better about myself than I do sweeping up hair and getting leered at anyway. At least this way I'm getting paid for it. Right, well, at least have some breakfast. And I'll just get a croissant in town. What are we going to do? What can we do? The match on Saturday. Well, at least let me come with you. You are kidding me. Well, I just want to see if it's all right. It's the same place I worked before, it'll be fine. Do you know she's working at the lap dancing place again? Are you Sam's mate? Um, yeah. Bethany. Who are you? I'm the new manager. You'll do. What's this? New rules. All the girls wear the same. Classier. Well, I'm not wearing that. I've got my own stuff. You'll wear what I give you. Or you can work somewhere else. You getting changed or not? <laughs> Can't believe you talked me into this. You've got to have a lap dance on your stag do. Tradition. Claire will kill me if she found out. <sighs> She's not going to find out. Lighten up. Everything all right, guys? Round of tequila shots, please, mate. Can't get too levered. Will you listen to him? Have a shot, relax. You got your old married life to be this boring. <laughs> <laughs> our girls will make you relax, don't worry. We want our own. Private dance costs more. I know how it works. This is the man she needs to dance for. Thought I made myself clear. Her. Uh, we'll have that one. We've got plenty of others. No. Her. Uh, he likes hot blondes, don't you, Jace? <laughs> Next time, you wear the bikini. Get a move on, then. Uh, no touching. Oh, come on. No, it's against the rules. I'll pay you extra. No. All right, all right. At least give Jason a close-up view. I'm fine. Man's about to get hitched. You're the last woman he's gonna see like this for a few months? Forever, mate. Give him something to remember. Go on, Jason. Get a proper look. Jason, 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 Nathan, 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 Nathan. I'm the police. Uh, don't do that. I'll fire her. Not enough. Mate, we've only just reopened. Have you seen what she's done? He's supposed to be getting married on Friday. You're off your head. Police, please. You don't want to do that. You start threatening me, and I'll do you for harassment. I want to report an assault. Just wanted him to get away from me. The man will need stitches. He could be scarred for life. Bethany. Craig. What, what's happened? She glassed a guy in the face. I was trying to defend myself. Not according to the witnesses. Straight down there, please. Sorry, you can't come in here. What? Craig, don't leave me. I want to be in there with her. You can't. If I find you attempting to interfere in any way, I'll report you to your superior. Craig, what's happened? Where's Bethany? Are you were an appropriate adult. Yeah, I'm a mum. Good. If you'd like to come this way. Are you a father? No. 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 We're just in here. OK. Thanks, Josh. You don't have to stay. I don't mind. No, honestly, you go back. Will you just tell David I'll call him? All right. Thank you. All right, well, if you need picking up or anything like that, let us know. Thanks. This is all my fault. Don't be daft. You said you were defending yourself. Yet all the witnesses say the victim didn't touch you. Victim? She's obviously the victim here. Bethany, did the man touch you? No, I, I thought... You shoved a glass bottle in his face. A 
apparently without provocation. He's got potentially life-changing injuries. Darling, why? I... He must have done something. I thought it was Nathan. He looked at me and I could have sworn it was him. Who was Nathan? Well, if you'd read a file, you'd know. He's, um... He's a man who groomed and abused her. And he went to trial and he's currently in prison. I see. I'm very sorry for what you've been through. But it's very likely you're going to be charged with GBH. You can't! A background of abuse does not give someone license to abuse others. This was a very serious assault. <gasps> We're releasing you on bail. The court hearing will be in the next few days. Come on, darling, let's get you home. Yeah, I need to find Craig first. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Craig, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, I'm just trying to get a mark off the wall. I said you attack some wood. I thought it was Nathan. It wasn't, it didn't even look like him, but in that moment, I could have sworn it was and I just lost it. You're gonna charge me with GBH. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. How can it be your fault? I should have protected you. I tried, I've but been... I don't understand. Just, just forget it. You said that it was bad for my head. You were right. Now I've scared Craig away as well. You haven't. He literally ran away from me. I could see the fear in his eyes. Am I going mad, Mum? No. Of course you're not going mad. I thought that guy was Nathan. What if I start seeing him in the street? Everywhere? You won't. Is this how it started for you? After Callum died? Darling, that was different. You thought he was still alive. You thought you'd seen him. Am I going to end up in hospital like you did? No. You did not have a psychotic episode. You were stressed. You were dancing for a group of guys and they're leering at you. You had a flashback. That was it. I thought it was over. I really thought it was over. <laughs> Mum told me what happened. Don't have a go at her. Why would I do that? Because it's what you do, you get angry. It seems to run the family, getting angry, doesn't it? She thought the guy was Nathan. Yeah, because I'm going mad. You're not going mad. You've just obviously got a few anger issues you need to deal with. I stood up to him in court. He got found guilty. He's gone out of my life. Well, do you think because you got him sent down, that means it's over? I mean, why do you think you've been lap dancing? Because it makes me feel in control. No, because it made you feel like you were getting revenge. I mean, the anger. That's why you did it. She was trying to be strong when you hate yourself for being weak. You sound like a therapist. So I think maybe you do need to try therapy again. I did try it, and it didn't work. Well, maybe you weren't ready. But maybe you are now. I've got changed about three times already. I'm that nervous. Craig, tell her, will you? You look great. It's your nice for court anyway. See? Right, I'm gonna go and finish getting ready. I'm glad you've come. Why wouldn't I? Well, you seemed a bit stressed the other day. I was worried you'd fallen out with me. Oh, of course not. Hmm. How are you feeling? Oh, sick. Hey, you're gonna be fine. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, once your solicitor has told the judge all this is about Nathan, the judge will see that there were extenuating circumstances. Yeah, but what if I get found... Look, get... I've told you, you're gonna be okay. I need my back. I literally couldn't believe it when they said all the charges had been dropped. I was like, what did he just say? Well, he probably didn't want his fiance finding out that he was in a lap dancing club. Mm. Um, 
When I spoke to Gran, she said to let you know that there's a broom at the salon with your name on it. I know it's not what you want, but... No, it's good. I'll go round and see her and apologise for being such a nightmare. <sighs> Maybe now you can move on and look to the future. I think that maybe David was right. Maybe I do need to give counselling another go. I'm very proud of you. Oh, I am so sorry I'm so late. Run in with a rogue shredder. A wedding gift of Roy's I've only just managed to retrieve from Norris's. What is it with men and shredders? Oh. Right, come on, sit yourself down. Hey. I'll be happier for you. Now at least you might have a chance of a fresh start. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and see Craig. I think he'll be dead made up. Yes, and he'll be grateful for an extra pair of hands with the packing. Packing? Yeah, he's doing a flat share with Kate and Alia. Did he not mention to you he was moving? Really fast. On the solicitor was brilliant. Yeah, um, we sent you text. Oh, yeah, what about my text telling me that you were moving out? Well, I just thought I'd let you get all the courts to file the way first. Yeah, but I wanted to be there for you. Yeah, I know. So why the sudden decision? It's just... This place, it's, it's too small, and my mum's doing my head in, if I'm honest. Well, I know that feeling. <laughs> and it just feels like the time's right. Kate and Ali are, eh? I bet they'll be well annoying hogging the bathroom. And what if they're dead messy? Well, I suppose you don't really know someone till you live with them, do you? Right, shall I stop folding those? So, uh, before, once or twice. What, then he told you to come here? That was Mrs Abercrombie, but he said you'd do a good job. That'll be 35 when you're ready, Tar. But is there anything else you can tell me? Well, uh, he likes his jewellery, apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> no, sorry, that's not Alfie. Alfie didn't wear jewellery. And he hadn't a clue of what to choose for me, either. See, there must have been a mix-up. Yeah. Let me get your coat for you. Oh, but he's wearing a big gold chain and a red club type thing. <gasps> he was the mayor. Piffany. Sorry, can you just keep your voice down? Because my mum's just gone to sleep and she's just really upset about it all. Oh, so you already know? Yeah, that he killed Michael as well. Michael? Yeah, you're not here about that feeling. What now? Why are you here then? Look, I've only overheard, so I shouldn't be saying this. But Neil's trying to get his sentence overturned. Well, what does that mean? It means he's won the right to appeal. Another trial? Will Bethany have to go back to court? Look, I don't know. He means yes, Mum. Because if he meant no, he would have said it. I wouldn't lie to you, but I guess if it's got this far, he must have a case. Oh, great. Thanks, Craig. So this freak could actually get out? And you lot wonder why people don't trust you? David. I'm going to work. Darling, I don't think you should. The police might want to talk to you. I don't want to talk and I don't want to think. I'm going to work. Oh, David, please, can you just keep an eye on her? Don't let her out your sight. I shouldn't have said anything. It must be so weird for his daughter knowing that her and her baby have got his genes. Uh, excuse me. Probably like that See? nature versus nurture thing, isn't it? Ow, it's in my eyes. Bethany, careful. Oh. <sighs> what is up with you two today? Why don't you just mind your own business, OK? We had some, um... Bad news at home. Neil's going to appeal his case. Means I'm going to have to go through it all again. Oh, no, Bethany, I'm so sorry. What if they believe him this time? It just proves it's never going to be over, is it? It's not right. Men like him don't get punished. I asked you to look after her. She said she was going for a dinner. She's had a hell of a day. She's bound to be rattled. Oh, darling, there you are. Please don't start. Look, let me just tell you. I've been on the phone to DC Lee. She's going to come round in a bit. She's going to explain it all to you properly because Craig shouldn't have told you like he did. Do you really think I care how I found out? Tell her not to bother. I'm not doing it. What, talking to the police? Not talking to anyone. And definitely not going back to court. No. You've done it once. You're amazing. You can do it again. Except I can't, Mum. What you can't do is let him walk free. It'll be easier this time. You're stronger now. What do you think? Look, there's no way he's going to win an appeal. He's just trying his luck. Well, like your son did. David. Leave it to when we're alone, yeah? Do you know who I blame for all of this? 
The police. The lawyers for making me get up there and humiliate myself. Don't say that. All for nothing. Look, what if you don't give evidence and he gets out and he goes and does it to some other poor lass? Oh, just shut up, will you? All of you, leave her alone and shut up. Are you seriously going to blame her if he gets released and attacks somebody else? No, I didn't mean it like that, Bethany. I swear I didn't mean oh, it like this that. This is getting out of hand. There's plenty this of This happened to her, all right? Not us. And you're just going to stand there and make her relive it again and again? Find anything interesting in there? Ah, Craig, he won't tell me anything either. In fact, he gave me an earful and went back to bed. Is Craig all right? Hey? Well, he was really upset yesterday. I phoned him twice and he didn't answer. Ah, oh, he was like a bear with a sore head this morning. How come he's not working today? Don't you normally have the same shifts? I think you should talk to him about that. Oh, that's not what happened at work. I'm sorry, I can't discuss it. Hello. Hello, this is PT Mills. Can I come up, please? Um, yeah, um, of course. Oh, still no answer. <sighs> Where's Craig? He's still in there. I thought he was behind me. Have you got a key? No. Do you know anyone who has? There's all you and Kate. What's he doing in there? I don't know. Let me finish. But Craig, please pick up the phone. They need to search the flat. I see you. Craig, it's Jess. Look, this is official police business line, so please open the door. He's still not answering his phone or the door. Well, you know him. I can't do anything if you don't talk to me. What's he doing? Oh, Craigie, it's me. Look, there's loads of people out here. Pick up the phone, eh? Look, call the station. We're finished over at number 11 on the builder's yard, but we're going to need some assistance here. Is he up there on his own? I was ringing the doorbell for 10 minutes this morning. He wasn't even out of bed. And why is he not at work? He's been told to take some time off. You what? Why? What's he done? I don't know. Well, why didn't you say something? Surely someone's got a key. I hope we'll sort it out soon. Tell you, give these like half an excuse and they'll break the door down. I'm sure he's okay, Beth. If he's okay, why is he locked himself in there? Well, how come the cat finds Ali you okay? How did you get in? Through the builder's yard. Is anyone with you? No, no, they're all waiting outside the front door. It's only a matter of time. If you get in that way, then they can too. What are you doing? I'm doing what I need to do. Just let me finish. If you don't let them in, they're going to break the door down. <laughs> if you weren't in trouble before, you will be now. What? Craig, what are you doing? Craig, stop it! Craig! Just... I'll let them in when I finish the game once everyone's safe, all right? And how long will that take? As long as it takes. No, it's all right. Craig, please, come on. What are you doing? Craig, stop it! Craig? 
Craig. Craig, open the door. Craig. Craig, we have to let them in. Craig, it's Jess. Come on, open the door. Come on, darling. Craig? I had a word with Jess. I told you that you'd been having a bit of a tough time recently, that's all. What kind of tough time? Nothing. I'm fine. Baby, please, talk to me. Craig, you barricaded yourself in the flat when the police were trying to get in. That's not fine, is it? You need to talk about this. I can't. Talk about what? Do you want to say? Can I? Yeah. Um, when I got to the flat, he was in a bit of a state. Um turning the switches and the cooker on and off and counting over and over again like he was trying to stop himself but couldn't do it. Why would you do stuff like that? I have to. I think it gets worse when he gets stressed. Is this why Liam was messing with the switches then? How long have you been doing this? A long time. Is it OCD? I don't know. I thought that was when you just wash your hands all the time. Look, I think you need to talk to somebody who knows a bit more about this than we do. You need to see a doctor. Will you, um, will you come with me? Of course I will. I'll do anything to help you, OK? It starts with a door. I have to unlock it, then lock it again to make sure it's properly secure. Sometimes if it doesn't feel right or it doesn't click right, I have to unlock it, then lock it again. How many times? A, a few. A lot. And then I have to do the same with the switches and the cooker. I have to turn them off, then on again. I have to turn the hob off and on an even number of times. It has to be an even number. I turn the hob off and on 18 times. That's Bethany's age, plus one an even number. And then if I do that, and it feels right, I know that I'll keep her safe. Do these routines ever affect your daily life, i.e. have you ever made you late for an appointment or for work? Yeah, all the time. If I'm feeling stressed or if I can't get it right, it's like it's stuck in my head with super glue. Sometimes, no matter how hard I try, I can't leave the house. I'm just stuck, going round and around and around. And have you got any idea of when this might have started? After the trial, when um, Lara got killed, I got the um, time drunk in court. I was confused about a 24-hour clock. It started around then, but it's got really bad. I get tired. Just counting the minutes and the seconds going round and round. But I know it's what I've got to do to keep everyone safe. And I know it sounds daft when I say it out loud. But to me, in my head, it feels right. OK. Well, I know this isn't easy. You made a very brave first step today. Do you know what OCD is? Well, these sound like symptoms. But the next step would be to get a proper assessment. However, I don't want you to worry, because we can help. There are talking therapies and medications that can help. But everyone is different. And what we'll do is we'll find a way to move forward that works best for you. Hey. We'll see. Well, that doesn't sound very official, does it? Well, it was the way that she said it. Why? How did she say it? Like, she knew he was going to be OK. Oh, was well, she tipping you in the wing? What? You had no right to speak to her on my behalf. She came round to talk about the appeal. I was just putting a good word in while she was at it. What's the latest there? Well, he hasn't won the right yet, so it should probably be fine. It's going to be around the place like wildfire. All right, I was only trying to help. They're going to be in stitches in the locker room. They'll throw my application in the bin. Oh, you don't know that. I'm exactly the sort of person they want. Someone who sends his friends in to plea his case. It's embarrassing. So do you reckon they might have him back? Have you told DC Lee about this? Great. Well, they're all going to know after yesterday, aren't they? I'm exactly what they're looking for, a lunatic who barricades himself in his own flat. Fine. Have it your way. I'm sorry I tried. <clears throat>
Doing this for you every week, mind. It's a treat. Mm. Can you make omelette? Not about breaking the eggs? I'll teach you. I very much look forward to that. More brown sauce. Then. Mm. Bye. Hey, what's all this about you and David? I heard he kicked you out. Mum? Who told you that? Tracy? Oh, nobody around here can keep the gob shut. It's usually all I've been down. Especially when they're eating. Oh, you're right, Shona. Hiya. Uh, look, if it's any consolation, my mum and my gran are both on your side. And so is Audrey. I've literally got no idea what he's playing at. Thanks. Mm, wait! Craigie. What? Haven't you got something to say to Bethany? I'm, um, sorry I flew off the handle at you earlier. Heartfelt. No, it is. I just feel awkward. With my mum watching and her. Her? I'm in the middle of my tea. If they let all this affect your application, then more fool them. I don't deserve you. I know. Do you want to join us? Uh, yeah, go on then. You're going to be late for work. No, I'm not going. I'm going to stand there all day while folk are gossiping about me. <laughs> People have been gossiping about you ever since I can remember. Water off a duck's back. Your clients might not even turn up. I'm scared you'll turn on them. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're in the paper. Says you hurt Gary. Yeah, well, it's a boxing match, mate. People are going to get hurt. Yeah, I don't know why they call it a sport. Men and women bashing each other's brains out. But it's going to be fine. I bet it's not. You've been weird for days. It's because Sean moved out. No, all right? And I've not been any more weird than what I normally am. Well, what passes as normal in this house? Max, go clean your teeth. I'll get the holiday kid. My mum's coming out of hospital today. She'll still need looking after, though. All right. You're going to move in with her for a few days, then? No, I thought she'd be better off here. You having a laugh? That boiler of hers is on the blink. I mean, you can't expect her to sit turning blue with cold in a freezing house. And don't worry, we'll be out of your way soon, won't we? I mean, she's a slattern in her own house, but you can bet your bottom dollar she'll give this place the once over. I can't believe you're moving her in here. David, you know, you've got a rock where your heart should be. She's an elderly lady and she needs looking after. So do you. Oh, don't let her hear you say that. You'll be the one ending up in hospital. You can... Hiya! Hi. How's it going? Not great. Oh. It's Kate and Alia. They don't mean to, but time to make it feel like a bit of a lab rat. A what? Like, they're just watching my every move. Well, isn't it better now that everything's out in the open? I suppose so, but they really just don't get it. How do you mean? But they share a flat with you. They know what you like. Everyone's always saying stuff. Like, oh, Soto's got a bit of OCD. They've got no idea. I'm sure they don't mean anything by it. Look, you can't get a bit of OCD. This has taken over my whole life. It's work. It's bad news. I know it. They're going to bin me off. No, answer it. Just get it out of the way. Hi, Jess. Look, I don't have much time right now, so if we could... What? Seriously? No, that is brilliant. I will do, thanks. I've passed my application to join the police force. Oh, great, that's amazing. <laughs> I've got my assessment date and everything. This is it. I could actually get my dream job. Hi. No way. Emma, are you two know each other? Uh, yeah, she was in the year above me at school. Oh, I heard what happened to you, babe. I am so, so sorry. Well, apparently Emma is David's new girlfriend. Come again? It gets better. We're also going to be work buddies. <laughs> yeah, she's the new trainee. What? We have so much reminiscing to do, it's crazy. <laughs> I think you mean reminiscing, though it hardly constitutes reminiscing when it was only last year. <laughs> is your grail always like this? Only joking. What did you just call me? Grail. It's a combo of Gail and Granny. I make up names, it's like a gift I am. Yeah, it suits you. Now, you might want to both sit down because our next bit of news is going to blow your minds. Do you want to tell him or shall I? You go for it. Tell us what? I'm moving in. <laughs> Should you even be in here after David kicks off about me seeing the kids? Uh, David can take a running jump. Besides, what David doesn't know doesn't hurt him. Hmm. Since my kick's half the size as Willie's, 
can I have two? <laughs> Seems logical to me. Uh, nice try. No, you cannot. You can have one each. Please don't encourage them. <laughs> Should we get one for Emma? Big mouth. What did I say to you? Sorry. Who's this, Emma? Bethany? Hmm? Um, David's new girlfriend. He's just, like, met her, and now she's moving in. Is this a joke? I wish. He just dropped it on us this morning. I thought Gran was gonna lay an egg. <laughs> Should be you live with us, not her. She was at school with Bethany. What? Yeah, you're above me. Moving in? Yep. I mean, they were quite brazen about it. Oh, for goodness sake, just when I thought he couldn't shock me anymore. The thing is, Emma's actually quite a nice girl. Girl being the operative word. Yeah, well, that aside, David is clearly in no emotionally fit state to be going into another relationship. Well, maybe I could have a word with Emma, see if I can warn her off. And run the risk of her telling him that we're ganging up on him. I don't think so. Yeah, well, okay, that's right. No, no, no. We've got to be much cleverer about this. And David needs to be reminded about his priorities, actually. So what takeaway shall we get? Not fast. Evening. Hiya. Hi. Excuse me, but I'm bursting. <laughs> What's all this? Maybe you should sit down. No, I'm fine standing. Go on, then. Let's hear it. That girl needs to go, David. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush, Gran. No, this isn't a joke. I mean, whether you like it or not, what you do affects Max and Lily. Oh, this again. They're fine. Oh, wake up, David. They are not fine. They are seriously confused and they miss Shona. Look, is this actually going anywhere? Because I need to order an Indian. Uh, look, this might be your house, David, but this is not a healthy atmosphere to bring up children. And... We think that the children should come and stay with me in Grasmere Drive. Yes? Until whatever this thing is you're suffering from runs its course. All right. All right, what? Well, the kids can go and stay with you at Grasmere Drive. What have I missed? Oh, thank you. What for? You know what for. Speaking up for David. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be coming home. Yeah, well, just giving a voice to the voiceless. <laughs> cheers! Oh. Cheers, cheers, cheers! Ooh. Oh, do you know, it's wonderful news. Isn't it wonderful news, Kay? Well, there's no other word for it. Yeah. Oh, where is he, then? Yes. You haven't left him on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he told us to come home. Said he didn't know how long he'd be with his Look, oh, he's your dad. Look, just calm down, Max. I told you, I'm not speaking to him. Well, he's not here. Good. That's the least I could do. Look, I know for a fact that if our roles were reversed, you'd be telling me to calm down and deal with what comes. Yeah, but you don't have stuff going on up here, do you? Oh, right, go on then. Like what? What exactly do you have to be worried about? Apart from messing up the whole interview. You're not going to mess up. I am going to mess up. I'm not going to get a job then. Kate and Ella will kick me out no, and then... No, that's not going to happen. You don't know that. Craig, just think about this. Right, what would your therapist say? She'd tell you to stop catastrophizing everything, wouldn't she? And even if you do mess up, which you won't, you're not going to be living out on the street, are you? I wouldn't let that happen. Your mum wouldn't let that happen. It's not going to happen, OK? You must think I'm a wacko. Well, no more than me. <laughs> I should go. Good luck. Thanks. No problem. Hey, babe. Listen, uh, I just want to say thanks for well, you know, being there for him. Of course. I know he's mine, but he's a very special lad. Yeah, he is. Just, uh, black coffee. Cheers. <sighs> I'll bring it over. Is he being his usual charming self? Even Gran thinks he's being weird and she's seen it all, so... Oh, by the way, have you got my, um... Oh, yeah. Oh. Look, she's a nice enough girl, Emma. She's quite sweet, actually. Bethany, I really don't want to know. No, but she's not the real thing. For him, I mean. In fact, I feel quite sorry for her. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Blew it how? Was it your OCD? 
No, but they say that's not a problem. Well, then what was it then? Because you knew everything backwards. I just don't feel like I was up to it. I was sitting there doing this interview with a pretend victim and I just felt like an imposter, like I didn't deserve to be there. I was rubbish. I never was. Yeah, but everyone feels like that after an exam. But what if I had failed? There's nothing else I want to be. Hello? Craig, it's Jess. You all right? No, not really. Yeah, well, saying how bad you were. Of course you weren't your plank. You smashed it. What? Is he going to put the kettle on or what? <laughs> what are you say? It's too embarrassing. What well, mums are embarrassing. I can imagine it was something along the lines of, you're amazing and you're so clever. Something like that. <laughs> well, mums are usually right as well, you know. Uh, maybe we could celebrate tonight. What, like go out or something? Yeah, or we could stay in and watch a film. Oh, right, well, the thing is, mum's asked me to go around to the takeaway. You could come, though. Uh, no, it's all right. I'll let you celebrate with your family. We'll just do it another time. Great. And, um, thanks for today. You're a mate. <laughs> hey. Oh, hello again. <laughs> is, um, is David around? No. He's barely been here at all today, and he's cancelled three appointments. I'm dead worried about him. Do you think he'll really go to prison? Honestly, I don't think so. I just never know what to say. He's sad all the time. I don't think he's as tough as he makes out, you know. Look, why don't you take your break? Here, get me a latte and get yourself whatever you want. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're all dead nice, you lot. <laughs> Do you think David's going to be all right? I don't know. I don't think that's going to last, though, do you? No, I know. And I feel really bad because she's so nice. No. You're looking very pretty, considering you're just going out with a mate. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> just when I thought I'd figured me and Craig out. Why? What's happened? Nothing, really. He just keeps saying how grateful he is that I'm helping him. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, I'm so used to him helping me. It's nice to return the favour, though, you know? Yeah. It's not even like I do very much. Well, no, because you listen, and I think that's all it takes sometimes, and you've both been through the mill, and now you're coming out the other side. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. I, I don't want to rush into anything, but... But? I don't know. I guess I'm not 100% sure that I just want to be friends right now. You OK? Yeah, I just find it difficult in new places. Sorry, we, we could have stayed at home. No, it's fine. I need to learn to cope. So, talk to me about it then, your OCD. Really? Yeah, I'm interested. Like, what are you feeling now? Yeah, you're stupid. Oh, go on. Sorry, I... I'm I... feeling anxious. Right. Why? because the glasses on this table are too close to the edge. And I know it sounds stupid, but they might fall off, smash and hurt you. OK. But now I've touched them, I need to move them back and forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 times. Because if you don't, then something bad will happen to me. Yeah. I told you it was stupid. No. No, it's not. Because it's not you, it's your condition. And it's not stupid anyway. Actually, I'm quite honoured that you can talk to me about it. I like hearing what you're going through. Really? Yeah. Well, that makes you the weird one then, because it does my flipping head in. <laughs> right, here are your menus. Specials are on the back and tap water. Oh, don't worry about them. Just leave them there. Whoa, OK, OCD boy. <laughs> Must not mess with table feng shui. I'll just go get my pad and then I'll be back for your drinks. Honestly, it's fine. Just leave, OK? But what she said was really horrible. It wasn't because she doesn't know, does she? No, I'm going to say something to her. Please don't. Right, are we ready to order or are we still reorganising the furniture? Uh, don't, right? Bethany. What? I do. 
actually have OCD. No way. Yes way. Thing is, I should have spotted it. My mum's got OCD as well. OCD isn't just where people are neat, you know. It's actually a really serious condition. No, no, I, I know my mum's got the proper kind. You know, symmetry obsession and checking compulsions. How do you check in compulsions? Oh, no way. Small OCD world. When my mum, it's light switches. Flick, 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 like a strobe. I call it the OC disco. Sometimes I take the bulbs out, you know, to wind her up. It's dead funny. Mm, I bet. Anyway, changing the subject, what can I get for you? I'd defo recommend the onion pakoras. They are lush, but if I were you, I would stay away from the lasuni doll. Just garlicky sludge. And I mean, there's no way she's snogging you after that one, my man. <laughs> so, um, what are you doing later in the week? Do you fancy going into town? Oh, or... happy waitress alert. Right, these are, like, complimentary brown tasting things. Sounds tasty. The chef did tell me what they're called, but I'll be honest, I've already forgotten. Right. What's in the name, though, eh? I mean, the brown, the tasty, and the free, so jobs are good. And I will um, just place these here, and then I'll just move these here, and then, oh, I hope I don't stab myself in the eye with a pointy fork. <laughs> you actually not. Hey, you're the one with the disorder, mate. Oh, look, <laughs> I don't think your girlfriend's finding me very funny. Oh, she's not my girlfriend. Oh, so there's hope for me yet then, eh, fella? <laughs> Enjoy your brown things. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Because you don't look all right. We need to go to the loo, but I don't want to go now and make it look like I'm leaving you to pay the bill. <laughs> go on, you idiot. I promise I won't pay the bill till you get back. Something I said? <laughs> Actually... Oh, no. What? Yeah, you're gonna think I'm a right weirdo. I honestly don't make a habit of this. What? If you two are just friends, do you think he would mind if I left him my number? Oh, uh. What? Bad idea. Sorry, are you sure that you two are just. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're just mates, so, um, yeah, go for it. You reckon? Yeah, he'll be chuffed. Awesome. So, I'm gonna run and hide, and if he's not interested, then just tell him to, like, forget it. I'm gonna run and hide now. Thanks for waiting. It's fine. Um, something on the back of there that might interest you. Peppy waitress left you a number. No way. Yes, by you big stud. Where'd she go? Uh, I think she's hiding back there. Are you going to use it? I don't know. I just think I should. I mean, if you like her, then yeah, why not? What the hell? Yeah, you know Kayla from Speed Doll. Kayla? Hmm. Oh, Kayla with the hair, Kayla. <laughs> yeah, she does have a lot of hair. Oh, yeah. right. Well, you can have her then. Oh, oh gee, I can't. I'm not ready back to back today. Come on, your coke, sweetheart. It's my results from the assessment day. I've been trying to open them, but I can't. I can't. Can't deal. Uh, can you do them for me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, do you want the bad news first? I knew it. Your phone's on 20%, but the good news is you're through! What? We're pleased to inform you that you were successful in your recent assessment day. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Put me down, PC Tinker. <laughs> Far from being PC, yeah. I've got the medical, the fitness oh, test. Oh, shut up and just enjoy the moment, will you? No, you're right. Uh, thank you, and thank you for everything you've done. You've been brilliant. <laughs> uh, can I take you out to celebrate? Um, speed dial. Oh. What? Kayla might be working. Is that a bad thing? Well, I never called her. OK, well, lucky enough for you, I'd be more than happy with a lunch date at Roy's. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought you were due back a bit ago. Uh, no. Audrey said I can take as long as I want. Oh, good chef. Yeah. Are you stopping for some lunch? No, I ain't got time. Just come to grab a butty. For myself and one for Audrey, of course. Look, if you don't fancy Kayla, you don't fancy her. But you have to tell her. I do fancy her. Do you? Yeah. Oh, right. Like, I really, really fancy her. I just thought because you were trying to avoid her that... You know, you might not be that interested. No, I've just been scared of messing it up. I did try to text her, but then I got all panicked, worrying about how to say something, how it could be read, you know? Yeah. 
And then I know it's best to talk to her in person, but if I did, I'd probably end up saying the wrong thing and breaking into a sweaty, stammery mess. <coughs> that wouldn't happen. It totally would. It always does with people I fancy. I wish I could talk to her like I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Two sugars. Oh, ta. I shouldn't really have sugar. It makes me hyperactive. But then again, so does coffee. Oh, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, huh? Mm. <laughs> Bethany, love, would you do a quick sweet round, please? People will think I've had carpet fitted. <sighs> Kayla was telling me she's given you her number for Craig. Yeah, he still hasn't called, though. Oh, well, he's, um, he's quite shy, isn't he, Bethany? Yeah, a bit. A bit? Oh, my goodness. I just have to say good morning to him and his little face got as red <coughs> as his hair. <laughs> yeah, well, he's just quite accepted on the first stage of his police training, so he's dead busy. I doubt he's got any time for anything else right now. How long before he becomes a copper? Uh, two years. Oh, I say you're back at last. I had to do Kayleigh myself. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have gone to the suppliers at this time. The traffic was a nightmare. I think I've quit my back and all carrying this. Uh, uh, no, 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 please, no, don't go. Could you take them in the back, please? I don't want people tripping over them and breaking their necks. Yeah, of course. I could just bob myself to the medical centre and all. Couldn't have to get back brace. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. No, do you know, I've always thought that Craig is a real sweetheart. He's hardworking, ambitious and so kind. In many ways, you know, he reminds me of my late husband, Alpha. <laughs> I mean, a young Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's why he's not called then, is yeah. training in that. Audrey, if you're doing Kayla, am I all right to get off? I've got a big shop to do and I worked through my lunch hour today, so... Uh, no, look, could you take the products out of the box? Don't leave them in the box. I mean, it's like Steptoe's yard there. Great. Now, you listen to me, lady. I have never been backward in coming forward where fellas are concerned. <laughs> so, what I say is, if you want something, you go for it, right? Here's a tip for your grandma. Oh, yeah, great grandma. Thanks. Hey, your average great grandma. She's a record laugh, isn't she? Yeah. I think they broke the mold when they made her. Sometimes I think they broke the mold before they made her. <laughs> Hope I have her energy when I'm her age. Mm, I wish I had her energy now. <laughs> Must be nice working together. Have you always worked here? Eh, uh, not exactly, no. I've, I've done some bar work as well. Mm, where at? Um, there's more of a, a club really, uh, near the Mexican place. Not tassels, is it? Nothing to be ashamed of. Were you dancing? Um, yeah, just, just for a bit. <laughs> Good on you. A mate of mine put herself through college working in one of them clubs. Yeah, well, it didn't last very long. <laughs> I wish I had the ball to get up there and shake my booty. <laughs> my mate said the tips were great. It had its pros and cons. <laughs> mm, that's just the customers. <laughs> I'll see you. See ya. Oh, see you, lovey. Oh, bye, Audrey. Hey, and listen, whatever it is you're taking, keep on taking it. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like her. What? You were just being Bessies with her. Yeah, that is called professionalism, right? I mean, she's so full of herself. And all this little girl lost routine with Craig. Oh, no, give me a break. Well, she left you a three-quid tip. Oh, well, it's going to take more than that to change my mind. Come here. Honestly. I mean, look, can you believe, Maria? I asked her to unpack the products. She's put the conditioners with the relaxers. I mean, if that isn't an accident, wait didn't happen. <laughs> right, well, why don't you get off and I'll stay and lock up? Oh, sweetheart, thank you, yes. So, you're still keen on being matchmaker to Kayla and Craig, are you? Swapping numbers and all that? Why not? You don't still like him? No, not like that, anyway. Oh, come on, you can't fool me. You are still sweet on him. It's as plain as the nose on your face, honestly. <laughs> so, you got the job then? Oh, looks like. Oh, it's so exciting. All right. Hiya. Can you do me a favour? Me and Tim have just been in the pub and trying to work out a non embarrassing text to send to Kayla. Oh, uh, yeah, she was in earlier asking about you. What did she say? Oh, lose the sweetheart. It's cheesy and not very you. Oh, she was just asking if I passed her number on. OK, and a casual mention about how busy you've been with work. And voila! Perfect. Hi, Kayla. It's Craig here. I had some great news yesterday. It's all been a bit mad. Do you fancy hearing about her over a drink? You reckon? 
Yeah, it's natural, Craig. Scent! No! <laughs> Bethany, that was for Craig to do. No, he just needed a little nudge. It's like pulling a plaster off. It's fine. Oh, right, come on, we've got to go. Thanks, Bethany. What to do without you? Did I just overhear you saying that you are busy? Uh, yeah, we'll be turning jobs away soon, why? Well, I think I might have the answer to all your problems. You got any experience of building sites? Oh, broke into one in Ibiza once when I was hammered. Nick the digger. <laughs> right. Uh, have you got any experience of working on building sites? No, but I can learn. Please, um, I'm desperate. I'll do anything. All right, I'll get you some labour in. Oh, cheers, guys. That's sound. 8.30 tomorrow, and don't be late, yeah? Listen, I'd like to take you for a drink to say thanks for sorting this. Uh, yeah, OK, well, we can go to the cafe if you want. Actually, I was thinking more like a meal at the bistro later on. Like a date. Oh, uh... Come on. Have the time of your life, babe. I thought he was proper guilty. <laughs> Great, it's just a TV show. No, Crown Court's real, they're proper cases, and he was dead dodgy. <laughs> Spoken like a true copper. It'd be a laugh. Come on. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I will go on the date, it'll be fun. Nice one. All right, I'll, uh, I'll go buy some condoms then. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll go book us a table. Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, yeah. Why not? It seems nice enough. Really? Bethany, your taste in men is not good. Um, pot and kettles, Mum. Look, stop worrying. I need to move on from Craig and everything else. And it's a meal at the bistro. What harm could it do? Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, wanted to make sure we got a bottle of their best wine. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh... Red? <laughs> yeah, what um, vintage is it? Oh, I don't know. Something French. Dead expensive, though. Mm. Actually, it's Italian, and it's the house red, the cheapest wine on the menu. Is it? Mm-hmm. How'd you know that? My uncle used to own this place. Right. I can get us another one if you want. <gasps> Brian, relax. You don't have to try so hard. I, I just want you to like me. Well, of course I like you. I'm still sat here, aren't I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two pints of snake bite, please, love. How much have you had to drink? Oh, Mum, please don't embarrass me. <laughs> I have heard the saddest story just now. She, her, has never had an 18th. Yes, she has. Made her a special tea. Are you scampi and chips? Yes, it's your favourite. And we had caterpillar cake. Oh, see how wild my life is? Well, I, I do love a bit of caterpillar cake. Oh, well, I've just been held hostage by Pat Phelan the day before. Well, we are celebrating my 18th tonight. Woo! Woo. I think you've done enough celebrating. You're meant to be working tomorrow. Oh. Fine. Well, if you won't serve us, we'll go into town. Come on, Bethany, come back here. That seat's taken. Oh. So, good night then, I take it. It was as it goes, yeah. Just come next time. So, how was your first day? Speed doll. Oh, did he pay me? Not that big on job satisfaction then. So, what's happening? Bid stood up by Craigie, have we? How old are you? It's probably with his little friend, that Kayla. What a pain she is. Don't be so mean, you don't even know her. I know as much as I want to know. Are you bossy or what? <laughs> yeah, but you hate being ordered around by a girl. Depends on the girl. And to be honest, I don't reckon she's your biggest fan either, by the way she was glaring at you while you were talking to that Emma yesterday. Probably thinks you're gonna nick a boyfriend. Uh, well, I'm not. What, so, do you think she's jealous? I don't know, maybe. Oh, you're such a liar. Whatever. But I'd watch my back if I were you. Girls like that can be a nightmare. Oh, you'd know. Yes, I would. Oh, cheers, boss. What are you two up to? We're going running. I've got my fitness test tomorrow, so Kelly will have to give us some help. Oh, right, great. We should get going. 
See ya. See ya. Don't say a word. Look, I've been thinking. She must have told Craig what I said to Emma. And the thing is, though, she probably thought I was being mean, so I can't really blame her. Yeah, well, right now she could say anything to the dude and he'd believe her. He's been sitting in here for hours just watching her. Mind you, got kind of interesting when her mum came in. Why? What happened? First off, Bossy makes out she's just another punter. That's swacker, right? Then she gets all jumpy when the big guy comes in. Totally didn't want him to meet. Maybe she's just embarrassed. What, because her old lady's got that weird OCD? OCD doesn't make you weird, and Craig already knew about that. Well, in the end, she pretty much dragged her out the door. She probably just wanted to know where her daughter works. Trust me, my mum is the same. Oh, there was a load of fuss about some letter. Yeah, mum gave it to her, but it didn't look like she wanted it. I'm telling you, right, I've got screwed up family, all right, but they just seem not right. Not right? Hi! You should not finish yet, you know. Man, that was full on. Well, you've only done two shifts. Oh, yeah, but the thing is, whatever I do, I do it 100%. All or nothing. Oh, is that right? Have a drink with me. I'm not here. I'll get my stuff. Um, I haven't said yes. What are you doing? Just come here. What, you cannot go through a bag? Oh, I'm not getting involved in this. Shake it out. No, just put it back. I don't want it. It's probably full of bad poetry. No, Ryan, please. Just... All right. What? No. What is it, then? all about Craig. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Oh, no, you were just tidying the lockers. The bag had fallen on the floor because the thing was open, right? I closed it. Then how come there's no sign of it being broken into? And why would I think that you've got anything worth taking? He's telling the truth. He wasn't trying to steal from you. OK, so why didn't you just put the bag back in the locker? I wasn't sure whose bag it was. The name on the tag is a bit of a clue. Ryan. You're meant to be able to trust the people that you work with. And if I hadn't come back for my phone... Ryan, please, can we speak to you in the office? I think it's best if we're both there. If you must know, he was going through a bag because of the way that she's been acting. You do realise that book was all about you, don't you? And me. Just stop, will you? You're out of order. What's she ever done to you? Well, apart from listening in on my private conversations and twisting them, and don't pretend she didn't tell you what I said because it's all in there. She did that because she's a friend and she's trying to support me, okay? Are you sure that's what she's doing, though? Right, are you ready to go? I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Why? What's happened? I'm sorry. No, that's not fair. You can't do that. Well, I can't. And to be honest, Bethany, you didn't give me much choice. Seriously, it's, uh, it's fine. Uh, at least I don't have to work with that cow anymore. Look, I'll sort your wages out for you. I'll come back in a bit. Cheers. So? I was right about her, yeah? Weird. And she hates you. I mean, I was the one with the bag, but she looked like she wanted to kill you. Especially when she saw you had that book. Yeah, why would she write all that stuff about Craig? Dirty stuff. What? No! Yeah. I don't know. There might have been. What I saw was facts about him and things that have happened. Sounds like they belong together. No. They don't. OK. <sighs> I'm telling you, there's something not right about her. I mean, her and him, seriously. I don't know. Maybe you're right. But what if you're not? What if she does really like Craig? She doesn't. You mean because she didn't fancy you? True story. Mm, I just hope he knows what he's doing. Enjoy. It's in gold. Right here, look, there's uh, something cheaper. No, our Craigie's girlfriend's coming for tea and I want to do something special. Well, nothing so special more than these biscuits. Mm. Do you want a picture? I'm, I'm worried about Craig. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Kayla. I don't know, there's just something a bit strange about her. Oh, so you're the expert on relationships now? No. You always I... thought you was too good for my Craigie, didn't you? No. And now you're jealous because he's found himself a decent girl. No, that's not... Well, stay away from him because he's much calmer and happier than he has been in a long time. No thanks to you.
You're right. Yeah, I just had an email confirming my community payback. Yeah? I'm painting the community centre. <laughs> you painting? <laughs> no doubt Billy the Vicar will be there judging my handiwork. Oh, I think it's a good placement, that. It's local. You're going to be doing something that everyone can appreciate. Well, forgive me if I don't crack open the champagne. Well, why don't we do something? Just you and me. Go into town, get leathered. Go on, it's your last day of freedom. Well, what about the kids? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'll pick them up. I promised Lily ages ago that I'd give her a makeover, so... OK, OK. <laughs> right, here she is, fresh off the catwalk. Ooh! <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, wow! <laughs> uh, yes, well, she insisted on more and more, so what can you do? Uh, and because she wasn't content on her own makeover, we decided to give Max a new look. <laughs> oh, rock star! Ooh, wow. Totally! Get upstairs and wash all that off your face. It's OK, Lily's got it on too. Now. What is your problem? I said get up there or I'm coming upstairs to scrub it all off myself. David, the dog, needs to go on more playdates with other dogs. He reckons he hasn't got enough doggy friends. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think Eccles will be much fun. At least, not the day. She seems a bit out of sorts. Oh, midweek blues, is it, Eccles? I know what that feels like. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, about that. Oh. What's this? <sighs> it's a Batmobile made out of lolly sticks. What does it look like? Well, stop being nice. Right, freaking me out. This is a one-time only deal. She reckons that you need a bit of moral support before you head off to your little bad boys club. Funny. Yeah, so just keep your head down and your gob shut, eh? Just save me the lecture. Thanks for the signings, though. Max! Lily! I'll take him to school if you want. What, so you can have Max dressed up as Lady Gaga as soon as I'm out the door? Tell you what, why don't you dress him in a football kit or a lumberjack shirt with a tool belt? You could even draw on a moustache and really hammer the point home. I just don't want him wearing makeup. What's weird about that? Oh, you're a dinosaur, David. And not the type in films that people like. I'll leave him. Hey! Mm. Darling, um, look, I know that you're worried about Neil's opinion. I'm not. Well, if you want to talk about it. What did I just say? So I've had a text from Gary saying he's stuck on the M6, barely moved in an hour. Well, and that's my fault too, is it? No, it's not your fault. It's Ryan's fault. Oh, one tiny mistake. What are you defending him for? He's an arrogant plank. Fit, though. Hey! Hey! It's nice neckerchief. Yeah! Going for the cowboy look. Since everyone thinks I'm the one that messed up with the builders. Mm, yeah, Lanarkshire, though. Really? Ah, uh, yeah. Kind of funny when you think about it. Mm. Uh, anyway, I'm happy here at the bistro. Spent the morning scrubbing the cellar. What, and that makes you happy? <laughs> well, that's my mum's place, isn't it? Felt nice to know that it was open air. Family business and all that. Something to be proud of. Yeah, it is. Uh, anyway, I got an early dot for uh, grafting, so what? You don't have the afternoon off by any chance. Why? Well, you know, I've, uh, I haven't eaten yet and uh, got the flat to myself. Oh, this looks lovely. Yeah. Well, I know girls go nuts over a bloke who can cook, so. Yeah, only the cute ones. Oh, so you think I'm cute? <laughs> I didn't say that. Kinda did. If I thought you were cute, I would just tell you. There's more to a bloke than looks, you know. You're very full of yourself. Ah, it's just a front. Dead shy inside. Really? Really. See how nervous that was? You think you're very charming, don't you? If you're shy, I don't mind going first. Oi. Play hard to get. Ow! Bethany! 
Johnny! Hold on. All right, just breathe into that. Breathe in and out. Just be careful, because there might be some flaky pastry in there. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Hyperventilating causes you to deplete the carbon dioxide levels in your body. Doing this will bring it back up, OK? Got to sound like Roy. Thanks. What, what's happened? I was with Ryan, and he was kissing me, and I just couldn't cope. I went mad. Panic attack. It must be. I felt like my heart was going to stop. Right, just sit there, and I'll put the kettle on, and you can tell me about it, OK? meant to be working. Mary's covering for me. Well, shall I come over? What's up? Oh, I don't know. She's not making any sense. She came in ranting. She's pretty much kept it up. Some drama with Bethany again. You right, Sarah? Yeah, it's Bethany, but she's fine. Well, there's a relief. Well, come over here, then. Oh, you are. OK, good. She's on her way over. I thought you two had moved out. That wasn't a no before. It wasn't a yes, though, was it? Oh, David, I love you. Stop acting like a child. Oh, great. We're adding insult to injury now. <sighs> Come on, then. What's happened? Nothing. Boy, you can tell a story. Well, it's hardly nothing, cos she came out of Ryan's like it attacked her. What, Ryan? Did he touch you? What? No. Nothing happened. You didn't do anything wrong. I think she's had a panic attack. I'd rather hear it from the horse's mouth. My mind went blank. All I knew was that I had to get out of there. You've not had a panic attack before, have you? Not like that. It might be something to do with Neil's appeal. What do you reckon? Maybe. I've not even been thinking about that. Well, just because you haven't been thinking about it, you know, doesn't mean it's not been going on in your head. Thank you, Professor. I am aware of the power of the subconscious mind. How can I not be with all the self-help books I've been given over the last six months? Be everything you can be. Idiots. Well, you seem okay to me. Are you sure you don't need to go about and see the doctor? It was a panic attack. All they'd do is suggest to sit down with a cup of tea and I'm doing that here. Do you want me to go see if I can find Ryan to let him know you're okay? I'll go and see myself later, but thanks. Oh. Ten minute kickabout in the garden with the kids and I'm ready to drop. <laughs> We're gonna get off. Is everything okay? Yeah. I need to bite the bullet and go and see Ryan. I wouldn't blame him if he's upset with me. He still hasn't answered any of my texts. He'll understand, I'm sure. Right, I'll see you later. Thanks for tea and that. Pleasure. Hi, Mum. No, she's fine. It's a false alarm. Get back to your shopping. I'm sorry to just keep dropping in on you every time we've got a problem. Don't be daft. What makes for? Oh, could you pick him up? I just... I thought we'd fallen out. Yeah, mates do sometimes. Thanks, Mum. Sorry for being a cow to Kayla. You should do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Anthony Joshua, a slap when I put him in hospital. Was it just a slap, though? You walloped him, then you walked out. That's what you've told the police. I remember slapping him. I remember walking out. But it's the bit in the middle that I'm worried about. Right, well, if you'd have done something serious, you wouldn't have forgotten it. I panicked. I just wanted to get away. Your mind can block out the bad things, believe me. So you're ready for you might have hurt him? I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see when he wakes up, won't we? There's no chance. Did you ask him about Ryan? Yeah, um, he's, he's gonna be okay. He's awake and he's talking. Right, well, I need to go and see him. I don't know if they're gonna let my visitors here. No, it's important. I need to know what happened. Well, what does it matter? He's on the mend. Mum! I think it was me that attacked him. 
I was angry. I slapped him and then I don't remember what happened after that. Oh, darling, no. Look, you're not thinking straight. It wasn't you. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. Because it was me. What? Oh, I swear it was an accident. I was just, I was furious. I didn't know what he'd done to you. I know we were rowing and I shoved him and he hit his head, but he was fine when I left. Well, he wasn't fine when they found him. He could have died. Well, because you shoved him. What if he tells that to the police? Hey. Hey. I, I got you green tea. Oh, thanks. How did it go? Um, OK, yeah. And how is he? He's much better. He's fine. And, um, I apologised. Good. I explained my extenuating circumstances. And? He's agreed he won't go to the police. Thank God for that. So, you don't think it's put him off completely, then? <sighs> He's pining for Ibiza. Really? Yeah, not, nothing to do with you. He's just not getting on very well with his family. And, uh, yeah, so I just think, you know, maybe you should call things. There's nothing to call. I think it'd be for the best. Seriously, Mum, there's nothing to call. But thanks for the advice. Hello? Hi, it's me. Can I come off? Yeah. That's Bethany. Talk of the devil. Their ears must be burning. Hi. Hi. Um, I just thought I'd come and let you know the good news. I didn't attack Ryan. You did? Well, long story, but the main thing is, everything is fine. He is fine. That's great news. Yeah, look, I'm sorry if I worried you. I'm really lucky to have such a brilliant friend like you. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you both to enjoy your afternoon. Look, we should all go out one night soon. It'll be fun. Sure. I'd love to. See ya. Boiled. Uh, yeah, well, it's the least I can do. Look, Ryan, I am so sorry about me, about my mum, everything. Don't be, really. You're the last person that should be apologising. Oh, but your poor head. It's amazing, though, when you think about the state that you were in. Mm, fast either. Mm -mm. What are you going to do about your hair? <laughs> Spoken like a true beauty queen. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll have to be careful of the stitches, but I tell you what, come into the salon and I'll wash it for you with some baby shampoo. You are so sweet. You'll miss me when you go back to Ibiza. When is that? When I get enough money. I only came back over for the wedding. I didn't know I was going to get sidetracked. Yeah, well, that's one word for it. Michelle will be glad to have you for a bit longer, though. I'm not going to have that conversation. Should be gutted that you go in. Maybe let's just wait a couple of days. I'll put some product on it for you for tonight. Well, what's up to tonight? Well, you're owed some fun. So we're going out with Craig and Kayla. That's fun? Yes, I promise. You know, it's fresh starts all round. OK? We saw it for the Rovers tonight. I thought you said you were going to message Kayla. Ryan's up for it. What? I still don't get it. Do you? Ryan, who freaked her out that much as she flipped. Oh, Craig, it was cross wires. It wasn't Ryan's fault. We've cleared that up already. Well, Mum has. Look, we messed up. We weren't very nice to Kayla, and we just want the chance to make it up to her. And who's paying Ryan? Because he's always at cash for clothes and clubs. <laughs> yeah, well, he lives his life to the max, but what's wrong with that? OK, well, if that's what it takes, then tell Kayla that me and Ryan will pay for the drinks. See ya. Bye. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. OK, well, thanks for everything, you know, with Mum. Seriously, let's just forget it, yeah? Hi, Audrey. Hello, my love. <laughs> it's lovely out there, isn't it? We're going out tonight, OK? He's over there, actually, so I'd better go and say hi. Hey. Hi. Have you been here long? No, just a couple of minutes. All right, mate. All right. One of those non-alcoholic lagers, a lime and soda, and a uh, TVR. It's tequila, vodka, and the roughest energy drink you can find. 
There's one in Phuket that the uh, cut with insecticide makes you hallucinate. Oh, sounds horrible. Not gonna lie, not my best night. Yeah. Are you even allowed to be drinking? You should be in hospital. No, they just said that booze might make me feel a bit drowsy, hence the energy drink. Right. Oh, come on, one of you have a drink with me. Uh, put a vodka in mine, please, Sean. Yeah, now you're talking. Come on, Craig, you have a real beer. That stuff tastes like metal. No, I quite like it. Oh, sorry, it's it's because you're on meds, isn't it, for the OCD? No, I'm not on any meds, just CBT. Right. Mm, it's early, I'm trying to pace myself. Cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, very uh, sensible. Tequila. Is that her? Yeah. Feeling ill, may stay at home, sans. Right. Um, uh, it's OK. Well, we can still go out anyway. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm feeling tired anyway. Let's do the whole double date thing another time, though, yeah? Are you sure? Yeah. Have a nice time. Now, what do you reckon? But does Kayla hate us or what? And don't be so sure it's us. What? I reckon he just got the brush off. Really? Hey. Hi. I've been uh, calling you. Yeah, I just needed to clear my head. How are you feeling? Not great. If Neil wins today, then there could be another trial, so... Hi, right, babe. You OK? Um, been better. All oh, right, yeah, the appeal. Listen, the judge won't let that scumbag go free, no way. Well, I wish I had your confidence. Honest, it'll all be fine. She's not okay, is she? No. Hi! Um, what's happened? You know what's happened? I've been dumped again. Uh, well, I don't think Notting Hill is the answer. Julia Roberts loved Hugh Grant. Even though he was the most annoying bloke on the planet, he was her soulmate. And I'm never going to have that. Of course you will. It's the first girl that I thought really liked me. And she does a runner. She got sick of me and she's liked it. Well, if it's any consolation, Ryan is flying thousands of miles away just so he doesn't have to be with me. You are? Yep. Going back to Ibiza. So we've both been dumped. Well, it's not the same. <sighs> Listen. Kayla is an idiot. And Craig, you're amazing. Any girl will be lucky to have you. Yeah, right. So Kayla dumped you. So Ryan dumped me. Who cares? We don't need them. I don't want to answer it. Whatever happens, you'll be OK. It's over. Finally over. Thank you for being there for me this whole time. I don't know what I would have done without you. You know what you were saying earlier about not needing anybody else? Do you mean that? Yeah, of course I do. Other people just get in the way. It's better when it's just us. What are you doing? Getting a spoon. I've been eyeing up the ice cream since I got here. Uh, my mum wants to have a celebratory thing at the Rovers tonight. It's a chance to see my grand tipsy if he fancy it. We'll miss it. Thanks for today. It's been really nice to just chill out for once. I've been on edge for so long. Will you make me feel better? I am um, think that's the ice cream talking. I'm trying to pay you a compliment. Sorry. Sometimes I just... I feel like I don't fit right when I'm around other people, blokes especially. But when I'm with you, I feel happy, comfortable. You make me feel good, so thanks. No problem. Sorry, um... No, I'll go. It's fine. I'll give you some space. Are you going to go to the pub? 
Uh, yeah. Right, well, I'll see you over there. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I've had dramas at work. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Sure. Sure. Sean, will you uh, bring Sarah a glass? Hmm? Avec plaisir. I can't have too many because I'm working this afternoon. <laughs> Aren't we all? All right. Um, I hope you don't mind. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, grab a glass. Um, do you mind if Kayla was on too? No, all the merrier. There we go. Come on now. Ooh. Raise your glasses. Uh, and let's hope he rots in jail. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hi. Does this mean it's good news? Uh, yes, it means it's really good news. Um, there's a couple of bottles of wine going around if you want to get yourself a glass. Even though I'm ditching you and going back to Ibiza? I will cry for a hundred years. I'm gonna love you and leave you, my darling. Oh, thanks for coming, Grant. Mm, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Oh. <laughs> Bye. If she could come, okay? But it doesn't mean we're back together. Yeah, well, it's none of my business, even if you are. No, you are. But what you were saying earlier about me, about us, what did you mean? I was just trying to cheer us both up, that's all. Really? Yeah. I think if we were meant to be together, we would have worked it out by now, don't you? Yeah, I suppose. And you seem to really like her. So why don't you give it another go? I'm sorry that I didn't turn up for our night out the other night. Oh, uh, no. I'm the one that should be apologising. You? Look, I know that I've made you feel unwelcome. And I can't say that I wasn't jealous. Not because we were together, but because we're really good mates. And I didn't want anyone getting in the way of that. It's pathetic, I know, but... No, I get where you're coming from. So if you two are OK? I think we are. Then I'm really happy for you. Let me buy you a drink. Are you sure? Yeah. I want to put all this behind us so that we can be friends. OK, well, in that case, I'll have a white wine then, please. And I want to help you celebrate keeping that bent copper locked up. Where he belongs. <laughs> well, if there's one thing I believe in, it's giving people what they deserve. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in Ibiza? I'm flying out Monday. I'm back home again on Thursday. I can't believe you're flying out to Ibiza to do two days of work. <laughs> Nothing better to do. Yeah, I know that feeling. So come with me. The promoter's paying for my flight in a plus one. Are you being serious? Yeah, totally. And, you know, you'll get a front row seat to the best show in town, so... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. I'll leave you guys to it. You owe me a cup of tea. I've had stuff to do. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tired. Been having trouble sleeping. Kate told me about what happened last week. What? Look, she's just worried about you. But you can't let it knock your confidence. You have to just focus on your assessment. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I reckon I might knock the whole police thing on the head. What? It won't do me any good. You were right. No, I wasn't. And when I saw how much you cared and how much it meant to you, I knew that. The police need someone like you. Yeah, well, maybe I don't need the police. You know, I've been having problems. Yeah, and you're dealing with those. Is that why you were late? Look, I just know that joining the police will make it worse. The stress, it'll be too much and I'm not cut out for it. No, that's rubbish. And anybody who knows you would say the same thing. No. Even Kayla thinks it might be a bad idea now. Right, well, she's changed her tune. Yeah, because she's worried about me. And I don't know what I'd do without her. Look, I'm not safe on my own. I don't trust myself anymore. Um, right, yeah, no, it, it's fine. It's nothing that we can't sort, yeah? Yeah. Don't be mad, but I've been online and I've booked you an emergency appointment to see a therapist. No, this is not an emergency. You're about to chuck your whole career away. I'd say that that makes it pretty urgent. I can't deal with this. Look, I know that the world seems scary right now, but I promise you I will go there with you and come straight back with you. Bethany, you're wasting your time and beyond help, OK? Me and Kayla, we It already... doesn't matter what Kayla thinks or anybody else. Let's just go and see what the therapist has to say, OK? She's the expert. Hi. 
Hey, um, have you seen Craig? Only I've messaged him and he's not answering. Yeah, we went to go and see his therapist and he left his phone at home. We? Yeah, I went with him only because I wanted to make sure he didn't bottle it. Look, you do realise he's planning on leaving the police, don't you? We can't let him do that. Look, everything is under control. He doesn't need you sticking your nose in and neither do I. Look, I don't want to step on your toes. I just think it's really important that we stay positive. Yeah, well, he's my boyfriend, Bethany, not yours. I did it because I'm his friend. Yeah, right. You just love the drama, you, don't you? Can't get enough of it. Been looking for you all over. I need to know if you're coming to Ibiza. I'm supposed to be flying out tomorrow night. Oh, not now, Ryan. Listen, I'm sorry for being a cow. Sometimes the pressure just gets too much for me. Don't worry, it's fine. So... Are you two going away? Maybe, but only for a couple of days. Live a little. You're 18 going on 85. Yeah, I'm tempted, Ryan, but I just don't think it's the right time. Well, don't you be worrying about Craig. I'll keep him on track. He would be mortified if he thought that you were missing out because of him. Have you decided what you want to do about Ivy? Uh, no, I'd love to go. I just don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Knowing that Ryan, you'd probably end up in prison. No, I mean, I don't want to leave Craig. Oh, you're as bad as Beth. You're gonna have to cut the apron strings at some point. Oh, look who's talking. Ah! No, that's different. Ryan's trouble. Yes, and he would probably say the same thing about you, seeing as though you lamped him one. And the more you have a go at him, the more likely I am to go to Ibiza. Craig, stop it. Sorry. Are you in a mood? No, because I'm not five. Are you annoyed because you had to take me to the dentist? Well, it's not how I choose to spend my 78th birthday, to be honest. Look out! Isn't that Audrey's car? Gran? What the earth do you think you're doing? What do you mean? You went into the back of me. You slammed your brakes on for no good reason. Yeah, but you should keep a safe distance. I was at a safe distance. Well, it's clearly not because you drove into me. Why did you even stop anyway? There was nothing there. There was a cat. What? I never saw one. Well, luckily I did because it shot straight past me. Oh, look, uh, maybe we should take uh, some insurance details. Um, I haven't got any. It's my auntie's car. Are you even insured to drive it? Yes. Look, I'll ring her and I'll get the details. I just... I need to go and get my neck looked at because it's really hurting. You, you can't leave the scene of an accident without giving you details. Craig, not now, please. I need to go and see a doctor and you need to get to your medical assessment. Craig, it's fine. You go with her and make sure she's OK. I'll just phone you later. Yeah, give me a pen, ma'am. I'll write down the registration. Get one from the salon. Yeah. I'll come. It hasn't been a very happy birthday so far, but listen, thank you so much for your help. Yeah, bye. Mm, what did they say? Well, they can find the insurance details from the registration number and uh, any repairs, then they're happy to pay for. Oh, that's good news. Oh, yeah. You should be banned from driving. Uh, it's not me grand's fault. Don't you have a go at my mum? My Craigie could have been killed because of her. How is Craig? Well, he's dead shaken up, obviously. The streets aren't safe with people like you around. Kayla was only taking him to his medical, and now she's the one in hospital. Is she? Is she OK? Well, the doc sent her for x-rays, thanks to you, you dopey old biddy. Oh, shut up! Oh, my granny's not dopey. It was Kayla. She slammed her brakes on for no reason. There was a cat. Would you rather it got run over? Typical heartless plat. Well, what? nobody else saw this flaming cat, actually. Please stop arguing, you upsetting customers. Well, she's not going to make it up, is she? Why would she do that? OK, yeah, well, thanks. Thanks, anyway. What did they say? Well, it all pans out. The car's insured and she's covered to drive it. Oh, well, it probably was just an accident, then. Just awfully strange just to stop like that. Yeah, well, these things happen, don't they? At least no-one was seriously injured. It's all going to get sorted. Yeah, I suppose you're right, my darling. Thank you. Right, look at this. What? I've been going through the CCTV footage on here. Well, what do you do that for? Looking at the accident. And there was definitely no cat. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, I've looked at it a thousand times. I've been through every single frame. Kayla just slams her brakes on for no reason. 
She caused that crash deliberately. See? There's nothing there. No, in all fairness, sweetheart, it's not very clear. One birthday cream home for the best boss in the world. Oh, my goodness, thank you so much. Just what the doctor ordered. Seriously, I almost died laughing ordering it. <laughs> Is there any chance that we can focus on this, please? What are you guys doing? We're looking at the CCTV footage of the crash. Yes, I mean, she thinks that Kayla lied about seeing a cat. That is the only explanation. Maybe it's fur camouflaged it like a tiger or something. What? There's cats out there that look like Hitler. Look, she just slams the brakes on. Well, I mean, even if you're right, why on earth did she do it? Yeah, why? Well, I don't know, OK? But what I do know is that there is something massively off about Kayla. Right, fine, forget it. I'll work this one out on my own. Maybe Gran is better off without her. Only five hours to lift off. Kind of gonna need a yes or a no soon. Uh, yeah, can I get back to you on that, please? He's offering you a free holiday. At least you could show a little more enthusiasm. Honestly, no worries. I'll, uh, I'll see you at the party, at least. Definitely. What? He grows on you. Fighting themselves. Look, we're really sorry about before. Um, I was just hoping that I might see Craig. Well, that makes two of us, cos I've not heard a peep out of him since dinner time. Well, so you don't know how his assessment went? No idea. Probably wants to make a big announcement at the party. Probably. Since you're really might as well stick around, eh? Thanks. Tonight's about having a good time. Right, I'm just gonna try Craig again. Oh, Bethany. If anyone deserves some R&R, &R, it's, uh... Um... Look, I wanted to say this before. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't like Bethany. But if all she needs is a mate right now, then that's totally cool with me. I know she's been through a lot. Do you promise to look after her properly? I'll treat her like a princess. Then it's a yes from me. Chicken satay? Hey, don't get posher than that. Uh, yeah, why not? He's still not answering. Well, maybe he's got a life. Anyway, enough about Craig. Come on, Ryan's still waiting on the answer. Mum, what out? Just tell him you're going. I'm sorry, it's OK. Tell him. Going where? Oh, so Ryan's invited her on holiday to Ibiza. Free flights tonight. What? You've not bit his hand off? I'm just worried about leaving Craig. He's been through a really stressful time recently. Oh, don't be daft. to be fine. Besides, he's got Kayla. Yeah, and you need to get away from here for a bit. Looks like I'm going to Ibiza then. Ooh. Awesome. <laughs> Crikey. I see more atmosphere on the moon. Who died? No, don't worry. It will liven up now we're here. Uh, about time. Flipping took yeah. She needed some liquid therapy. I've been traumatised, Steve. But everything's fine now. All right. You change your hair. I just had it tidied up, is all. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jess. Oh, yeah. I don't suppose you know where Craig is, do you? Well, I was actually coming here to find him. Is everything all right? <sighs> Not really, no. I missed his medical today. Oh, I knew there was something wrong. I've tried calling, left a ton of messages, but nothing. Honestly, if your car is like this, can we drop from the whole recruitment process? See ya. There you are. Thank you for bailing on me. I got stuck talking to rent -a gob Abby. Yeah, sorry about that. Why did you sneak off? I didn't sneak off. I just wanted to find Craig. Oh, I thought we discussed this. His training officer told me that he missed his assessment. He wouldn't do that unless there was something seriously wrong. Well, I'm sure he's got his reasons. Yeah, and I'm betting the main one is Kayla. Oh, Craig can look after himself. And you, you're meant to be home packing. I know. So what are you doing in speed dog? I wanted to know Kayla's address. So you're stalking her now? No. I just wanted to speak to Craig and I didn't know where he was. He's not in his flat, so maybe he's there. Or maybe they've gone to the cinema or, or they're on a romantic date. You know, the things that normal couples do. Yeah, except she's not normal. Right, this has to stop now. Just go home, get packed and get on that plane with Ryan. Mum, I'm I working in the pub for a couple of hours and when I get back, I want to see that you're gone. But Please, I just promise me you'll go. Fine. I promise. OK. Just forget about everyone and everything, OK? OK. 
okay. I'll, I'll see you soon, Mum. Just tell Grandma to get better and I'll come and see you soon, okay? What are you doing here? I need to speak to Craig. How did you even get this address? I got it from Yasmin. Now, he is here, isn't he? No. What is this even about? Jess told me you didn't turn up to his medical assessment. Well, that is his business and not yours. Yeah, well, I'm making it my business. Look, he doesn't want you interfering in his life anymore. I'm not interfering. I care about him. Yeah, well, I'm just passing on a message. Right. Well, I want to hear it from him in person. So where is he? I've got no idea. He is here, isn't he? Look, I would like you to leave now. Craig, it's Bethany! You just don't get it, do you? My boyfriend is done with you. Well, I'm not leaving here until I speak to him. Move! Take this off. I just want to talk to you. Okay? 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 I'm sorry that I've had to do this. You don't. I just need you to tell the truth. Just about my dad, none of the others. I just need you to admit that you lied about him. It wasn't a lie. No. He did it with no. all of the others. No, you were still. I need you to tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. Look. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if that's what it takes. You have to tell me the truth. You did those things. You hurt them girls. Just admit it. Doesn't make a difference now. They're not letting you out either way. I just need to hear you say it. It's her. It's all her. She's poisoned you against me. No. She just opened my eyes to what an evil monster you really are. Please. Kay. Then say it. Just admit what you did. You're disgusting! You're a coward! I hate you! Craig, I hate you! I hate you! You are not my dad! <laughs> Maybe you just need to give Craig a bit more time. No, I need to tell him how sorry I am. Please. Right, well, just be prepared that he might not actually want to see you. Hello? Hi, it's me and... <sighs> Hi. All right. You didn't give me a chance to tell you that I wasn't on my own. You never liked me. You never even cared about me at all. I did. I was just confused. I don't believe you. I was just part of your sick plan, but now I'm the one that's meant to feel sorry for you. I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me. What then? Because I really don't get why you're here. I just... I just want you to know how sorry I am. And for the record, I'm getting help. Good. I know what I did to you was wrong. And, and... You made me think that my rituals were real. And that was cruel, and I regret it. I trusted you. And I can't forget what you did to me. I'm not expecting you to forget. But I want you to know that I do care about you. 
Yeah? And I loved you. Maybe you should go. Look, Craig, I know that I hurt you. And I hate myself for what I put you through. And I hate that now, because of what I did, I've mucked it up with me and you. I'm so sorry. I just... I wish we'd met in a different way, because I know I'm never going to meet anyone as kind and amazing as you. Anyway, my mum's... My mum's coming to get me. You'll be all right, you know. You'll get past this. Thanks. Bye, Craig. I'm so sorry for bringing her here. Oh, I never want to see her again. I get it. And I know that you can't forgive what she did. But she really was so strong today. I can't believe he's in hospital. You should have took me with you to look after I you. I don't need looking after. Craig, I'm fine. Stop stressing. Hello. Oh. And um, I should have said, I had a lot of things on my to-do list today, and one of them was involving you. Mills, don't let me in. Why are you still seeing her? I think it's best if you keep your distance. We are from now on. What are you doing here? Eh? Can't give up. We won't let you. Yeah, you'll make a great police officer. The kind of bloke we need on the force. What, someone who loses it and misses his assessment? No, someone who's caring. You want to make a difference, and that's nothing to be sniffed at. You're always telling me what to do. I am not. Yeah, but in a good way. You want me to follow my dreams, and you need to do the same. Yeah, or well, maybe being in the police isn't my dream anymore. No, you're just scared, Craig, that's all. Look, it's a waste of time even talking about it. I've missed my medical assessment. You can still do that. And you can pick up your training where you left off. Look, we don't want to put any pressure on you. All I'm saying is don't give up on something you worked really hard for. Who's texting you? It's just my mum asking me for, like, bean sprouts. Weirdo. Anyway, stop changing the subject, you. I'm not. Weatherfield needs you to fight crime. <laughs> and it's what you want. I know it is. Fine. Maybe it is what I want, but I need to concentrate on getting better first. Then, I promise you, I'll go back. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, nice to see you too. Mum's making a stir fry and she wants to borrow Gran's wok. Um, yeah, sorry, sure. You seemed pretty disappointed to see me. Shall I take it personally or? Oh, of course not, no. I was just hoping you were David. Oh, gone AWOL, has he? Uh, yeah, yeah, he took the dog for a walk. I just thought he'd be home by now. Well, you can't really rush quality David and David time. Yeah, three hours of it. Hey, it'll be fine. He'll be back soon. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm just being a silly mare. How are you, anyway, after yesterday? Uh, yeah. I'm OK. I saw Kayla today. How can you stand to be anywhere near that girl? We went to see her dad. He's in hospital. You saw Neil? Didn't you want to kill him? I did. But not anymore. I mean, yeah, he makes me sick, but when I saw him, I just thought, he's a pathetic little man. He's nothing. You are so strong. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, you are. You and David. I just wish he could see it in himself. You know, sometimes I just I feel like he's not even trying to get over it. Not like you. Well, it took me long enough. No, don't say that. Don't put yourself down. It is a huge thing that you did today. I'm just saying, I did some pretty crazy stuff. I didn't just click my fingers and get over it. David just needs time, that's all. Yeah, meanwhile, he's on a one-way street to self-destruct. Has something happened between you two? <laughs> just a row. A big one. Well, he's probably in the pub with a pint, moaning to the dog. Don't worry, he'll be home soon. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Are you actually going to do any work today or not? I'm looking at what you have in a healthy Christmas dinner. Yeah, we'll do that in your own time. We're busy. OK, we're off now, lovely. And can I say what a wonderful service it was for my very clever daughter. Mm. Yes, reflected Ooh. in a very generous tip. Look at Grand splashing the cash. Oh, no, Archie would want us to push the boat out. Come on. OK, stop it. You're embarrassing me now. No, but she's a man. That's her job. Are you two drunk already? No. Yes, I'm, 
I have Harry at nursery and then Lewis is picking him up. So we are just going to enjoy ourselves very much on Christmas. Yes. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks you. again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Hey, two prawn cocktails for table five. Uh, it's your turn. Will you give me a minute? And will you get off your phone? Otherwise, I'll take them free spuds back. Uh, hang on, how come he gets free spuds? That's not fair. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Bethany, you can have free spuds if you take them to table five. Oh! Oh, Gary's here! How much have you actually had to drink? Just a couple of bottles. Hang on, my mum's calling me. Oh, it's Gail. Hello. Hello, Merry Christmas. Yes, I know it's not Christmas today, but I'm just very happy. Or oh, drunk? Oh. Uh, no. Oh, can you not get another one? Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, okay. All right. I'll let everybody know. Love you lots. Okay. okay. Everything okay? No, Mum's stuck in Milan. She's going to miss Christmas Day. Oh, no. Well, never mind. You've still got lovely Bethany. Oh, uh, sorry, I told Michelle that I'd work. Oh, you love Christmas at home. But I also love money, so... <sighs> All right, well, looks like it's just going to be you and me, then. Yep. What were you going to say? Uh, just, um... Just... What do you all want to drink? Ah, uh, oh. I would like, um, vodka. Oh, no. And make mine a double. Yeah, I'm still working on um, this. Uh, don't put the vodka in his. <laughs> well, Grandma, I think that was lovely. Oh, that's cool, that's all. Yeah. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'll see you later on. Bye. There you go. Cheers. Hmm. Hey, it's tough having one family. Having three must be a nightmare. Yeah, tell me about it. Cheers, love. So good. Oh. Oh. Um, Gran, have you had any thoughts about what you would like to do with your little windfall? Uh, no, I haven't really had time, to be honest, darling. <laughs> oh, well, if you, you know, you do want to have a little thing, me and Gary could do with a deposit for our house. Mum, you can't say that. That's Gran's Oh, money. Well, she doesn't mind you, Gran. You minted. No, I wouldn't go that far. Well, I'm sure Audrey has plenty of ideas <laughs> about how to spend her, her bequest. And if she doesn't, she knows I'd be more than happy to advise her. Oh. I'm mm. sure you would. Sarah! I'm joking. <laughs> Sarah drunk? Her eyes look funny. I'm just tired, my darling. I wish I could have a little sleep like her. Oh, she always gets tired at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to go around to Izzy's house, see your other kids. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to arrange everything. Why, why don't we just have our Christmas Day on Boxing Day with Bethany? I'm working on Boxing Day. Oh, brilliant! No, oh, all right. That is enough. All this arguing, it isn't even Christmas Day yet. Oh, I'm gonna sort this. It's fine. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Daddy, we met Father Christmas. Yes, yes, we went on the steam Daddy. train all the way to the North Pole. Really? Mm. Sounds amazing. It wasn't really the North Pole. Hello. So, how come you're all here? Well, you probably all know already. Your mum's abroad, so she's not gonna make Christmas Day. No, probably be a decent birthday for once. Ow! <laughs> You've been drinking. And uh, Gary won't be here either. Oh, it's getting better and better. <laughs> Ow! Do you ever stop? <laughs> this is why I want all this friction to end. Well, to be honest, Gran, there won't any friction till you lot rocked up. Yeah, well, that's as maybe. We are all going to be together tomorrow as a family, and we're going to take our Christmas to the bistro. Right. Well, I've got a turkey now. Oh, Gran, I don't want to eat in my old restaurant. No, enough! I am the matriarch of this family and I have spoken. OK. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Mm. I shall be sharing my little windfall with you all. Well, that's if you can all get on for once. Yeah, yeah, of course we can, I Gran. Can, I think we can do that. No problem, easy. <laughs> You're all a bunch of hypocrites. <laughs> okay. 